Franco past that music. So good. G'day there. Welcome to the race side. My name is Hannah and it is good to be here. Great to have you here watching along. Uh, if this is your first show, welcome to the show. You are going to very quickly learn that this gets very wild very quickly. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a good week of Star Wars. Good week of Star Wars uh, as it has been for the past couple of weeks. Uh, I'm still, I rewatched Tales of the Jedi this week. That was enjoyable. Uh, that's, it, it gets better on the rewatch, Tales of the Jedi, but loving it. Uh, but, uh, let me know how your week's been. How are you going? Um, what else? Nothing else exciting happened in my week, I guess. Uh, hello there. We've got a bunch of people in the chat. Welcome, Dave. Welcome to the show. Fellow pad Padawans, Paddy ones. I love it. Fantastic to have you here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, that's awesome. You're, a bunch of you have come here from the stream yesterday. What a what a wild experience that was. Definitely not how I thought my uh, my uh, show was going to go, or my day was going to go, rather. Uh, but it was a, it's great to have you here. We're going to have a great show today. Uh, now, if you could tell by the thumb title, we're going to be making a Star Wars planet. And I'm going to quickly explain what we mean by that. But before we get into it, uh, let me know how your week's going. Uh, how's Andor? We have, haven't spoken to you all since uh, Andor episode 9 came out, which I enjoyed quite a lot. I enjoyed quite a lot. Uh, I've had very mixed reactions and kind of theories and just experiences with the previous Andor episodes. But oddly, last episode, I really, really enjoyed, um, mainly because of the acting. Andy Circus, like, what the hell? Get out of the mo motion cap suit. Like, you are a top-tier actor. Uh, but loving his involvement as Kino. I keep mistakenly calling him Lino, his character in Andor Lino, but it's Kino, not a, not a, not a L. It's a K. Thank you so much, Dave. Jump the subs. Absolutely. I'm liking Andor just fine. Sin City Sith. Wow, that that's going to be hard to say quickly, that one. Sin City Sith. Jeez, I can't even get it slowly. Amazing. Welcome, Joe. Great to have you here, my friend. Star Wars fans, unite. I love it. The Dino Gamer. Welcome to the show, my friend. Great to have you here. Thank you, Will. Appreciate. The Force is with you, Kyle. Thank you for being here. Uh, Sin, again, this is going to catch me, Sin City, I might just call you Sin City, that's that's a bit easier to say, I don't mind character building and slower pacing, yeah, um, Andor's very much that uh, slower pace show, but it is character building, I, I guess that's, yeah, that's true, it's true, and it's it's a bit of like a character, very, very much like a character driven show, I think, like even though the Aldani kind of arc, a lot of those characters died, but it, it, we spent a lot of time getting to know them. Um, and that, you know, that was to make their deaths a bit, a bit more impactful. I, I definitely think Nemec's death was pretty wild for a lot of people. I know for me, I was like pretty, I like, it was, a, they did it well. Cause I thought, okay, we're at the end of the episode, Nemec's still alive. We're getting away with this one. And then, yeah, of course, when that, uh, when that big stack of credits hit him, that was, that was shocking. Leary X, what's up, Ray? I'm, I'm good. Glad to be here. It's going to be a great show. Glad to have you here. Hello there, good day there. I like to say because I feel like an Australian Obi Wan would say good day there. If that, if you haven't clicked why I say that at the start of every show, that that is why because it's hello there, but Australianized. It's the Australian version. It's the Aussie version. Uh, Numa, I like Andor. I think a lot of people like that. People, a lot of people just like I. I like this show. Then you know, maybe it's not everyone's favorite. It's, it's not my favorite show, but I'm like, there's good things about this show. I'm enjoying this show. It's good things. Diego Luna, a great actor, a pulse says. Personally, I'm really enjoying Andor. Ice Cream Screamer says, man, these names, your guys' names are phenomenal. This is hilarious. Julie, welcome back, my friend. Great to have you here. Hope you're doing well uh, in the new job as well. Congratulations on that. Hope you're settling in. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I am an Australian, everyone. Wow, is that is that a st statement? that you are it can't be challenged i am an australian obi-wan i i love it love the love the profile picture can't go past those classic lego star wars complete saga icons amazing yeah <laughs> don't bring up tim and you, dave you forgot it has two m's he has two m's tim classic uh what time is it there hannah 705 here it is currently I have a clock somewhere 205 205 here in australia in the afternoon 
Uh, getting pretty warm as if we're heading into summer, but it's a good day. It's a good day to have a Star Wars show. Love this. Hello, Max Rebo. I'm not going to call you Captain Law. I'm going to call you Max Rebo. And was gone. Uh, Andor has gone from just a good show to probably my favorite show out right now. Really liking the slower pace. So, so yeah, I feel like we're starting to discover that everyone has kind of different tastes with how much character development we have, the pacing of shows. Everyone's having different takes. So I'm really happy you're enjoying it. Uh, again, I'm just going to call you Max Rebo because he's like almost like favorite character for me. Uh, I agree. I'm a fellow Aussie too. You yeah, thank you. So good day there. Uh, that's let's catch that on. Good day there. Good saying. Uh, shout out for some super great countdown videos you've been putting out. And t- the top three, top five. Great job, Hannah. More please. Yeah, they're coming, and they're coming at two videos a week now as well. Because I have a bunch of topics to run through. So there's two a week of those top, uh, the best of Star Wars series, which I call that. But thank you, Julie. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you had to pick one series, Kenobi or Andor, uh, Kenobi for sure, which is difficult to say because I think Kenobi's story and the writing of the Kenobi story was like so much better, but I think the execution of Andor is so much better. So I kind of wish Kenobi had the production value of Andor and it looked like Andor looked and I, I wish Andor had a bit more of the Star Wars feely story that obi-wan had that kenobi had but uh probably kenobi if i was like to sit down and watch one probably kenobi to be honest probably kenobi uh how much has this jumped since um it has jumped almost over quadruple now i was sitting on 245 just over 24 hours ago and i'm now i don't even know what it is now 900 something crazy uh super appreciative i just i'm I'm, i think i'm still in shock i don't think i can articulate how much i appreciate it (laughs) <laughs> Maximus is in the top one characters for sure. I love it. Lego Obi Wan. I'm like Andor. I just hope season two is a bit faster paced. And I I believe that to be true. I think as much as Gilroy said this is not a cameo show, I do think we're going to get a couple of cameos from Rebellion people. Maybe not a big you know. And we're not going to get Luke Skywalker walking through the door. Well, he's you know just hanging out in Tatooine any right now anyway. But I think we're going to get some Rebellion people in there. I think it's going to be. Uh, I think, yeah, I think it's going to be a lot more fast paced. I, and I hope it is. I hope it is just per- personal preference. Uh, Joel, you're here, Joel. It's so good to have you here. If I had to pick, uh, I'd pick Andor. It's pushing what Star Wars can be while Kenobi is just standard Star Wars. Yeah. I, yeah. I, again, I wish Kenobi was like at the production value of Andor and I feel like it would have done a lot better. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really interesting one that, comparison but it, yeah it's hard to compare because there's two different very different feels and very different approaches and you know purposes of shows so it, it, it's hard to pick one hard to pick one uh can you say you have watched the movies and series so much you pretty much know the dialogue definitely for the prequels i could confidently and i've actually thought about doing this for a live show one day i can confidently quote uh, i would say maybe 75 percent of the phantom menace word for word like in in order, chronological order, can quote that movie. Uh, and I'm pretty good with the other uh, prequels as well. But uh, what, what shows? Clone Wars. Clone Wars I'm pretty good with. I'm, I, I, know, I know my Clone Wars. I know my Clone Wars. So I, I feel confident with that one. But um, I think the other ones I could predict. I may, might not be as confident, but I could definitely kind of be like, oh, we're in this scene. This is what they're going to say. Good question, though. Good question. Oh, my gosh. There's so many, so many questions here. Oh, my god oh so i i can't even keep up i cannot keep up king Cass king cassidy i feel like i i feel like i'm not gonna pronounce that right but you i'm ex- gonna explain that back to you uh hello i'm loving andor at me the clock is at 408 early morning oh geez early in the morning what are you doing up so early jeez or well, i'll stay up late you never know Hey, you came from the Star Wars Theory stream. Now a huge fan. I Well, I'm a huge fan of you. Thank you for being here. Now, very shortly, we are going to jump into the task of the day. So if you're new here, uh, what we do on this show is that we make stuff. This is a Star Wars variety show. So we don't just sit here and talk, even though we love it. Uh, we make things every week. We make Star Wars food. We've made the, the and or blue noodles. We've made the blue cereal. We've made Star Wars cocktails. We've read we've um we've read Star Wars kids books. We've made Millennium Falcons out of metal. Like we've done 
a bunch of things. Every every week we do something different. So this week we're going to have a craft, a very hands-on craft. So we'll jump to that in just a minute. Uh, but I'll ask you, answer a couple more questions and then we'll get into it. Uh, can you talk about how you first got to like uh, Star Wars? Yeah, absolutely. So this, it's it's kind of a sad one. It's a bit of a sad story. So uh, I have two older brothers uh, and they introduced me to it. They, I watched the, you know, prequels and original trilogy with them uh when i was about 10 years old and then i was really really uh embarrassed that i like star wars and you know this is 12, 13 years ago now so like you know 2010 we're talking um and even you know that's like fairly recently like it you know only a bit of time ago and it definitely was a boy dominated thing and and boys like star wars and i felt very embarrassed to like star wars because i was a girl well i am i am a girl and what I would do is at, at school, at, at lunchtime, when my friends would be eating lunch together, I said, I would tell them, hey, I'm just going to go to the bathroom quick. And I would pretend to run to the bathroom, but I actually run to the library because in the library they had the um, novelizations for each of the Star Wars movies. And I would read like two, three pages and then put it back on the shelf and then run all the way back to my friends because I was too embarrassed to – borrow the books and you know get the books out and read them because so so no one could know i could like star wars very embarrassed i liked it it was a very boy thing if you like star wars as a girl you would just get teased so uh i was very i was like a closeted star wars fan essentially i just didn't tell anyone for years and then later in life i uh i got really into it and definitely when clone wars came out and ahsoka ahsoka's age in the clone wars was pretty much my age watching through it so that that was really life-changing seeing that character and her being a pretty prominent character um, yeah, that pretty, that very much changed my life. So after that, I was just, I've just been in it for years now. So yeah, but I would say 13 years, Star Wars fan going strong here. Uh, so many, so many questions. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Beto. Beto? Beto. I don't know. I feel like I'm saying these things in an Australian, <laughs> Australian term. 3.11 a.m. Where are you guys in the world? That's insane. What are you doing awake? Thank you so much. Uh, blue milk. I've made the blue milk before. Uh, I made the blue milk to drink and also for the cereal as well. So I've made it twice in this show somehow. Uh, definitely go check that. The, the very first live stream I ever did, which was only like four or five months ago, uh, I did that recipe and I share the recipe with you and do it. So if you want it, go to that very first live stream I had. Uh, so much better, more fun than most Star Wars creators who just complain. Yeah, I mean, like, I have my picks with Star Wars. I'm pretty honest with if I don't like something. But I'm, I, I more focus on loving Star Wars, loving what you love about Star Wars. You know, with everything, in every part of life, you can complain and and pick at things. And, you, you know, that's just, that's just a part of life. But, you know, I'm here to, like, like, if you don't like something, just focus on what you love about it. So that's definitely kind of what I'm about here on the channel. Just, uh. Yeah, loving Star Wars. I love prequels. A lot of my content is about the prequels and about Clone Wars stuff. And uh, yeah, just just loving Star Wars together, being kind. Uh, being st a Star Wars back in the day was still not a common thing. Yeah, for sure. It's and yeah, definitely not a thing for girls girls to like. It was very like only boys can like Star Wars. Uh, animated Revenge of the Sith or live action Clone Wars? Ooh. Live action Clone Wars. That would be interesting. I don't know if I'd like it immediately. Oh, man. I'm so out of breath already. Yes. I remember you. Yeah. Oh, it's Kansas Beef, of course. With that kind of name. Mm, yeah, same. Back in the day, people looked, looked at you weird if you liked Star Wars. Literally no one around me liked it. Yeah, it was a pretty isolating thing, which is... Really interesting because it's like you would enjoy it. You're like the movies or the books or the toys and you collect things. You love to play it and you just felt weird for it. You just felt a little bit isolated. So it's amazing to be a Star Wars fan in, in nowadays because we can be so connected about it. Like And yeah, same thing. I had no friends that liked Star Wars and it was only until I started kind of doing podcasting, doing streams and connecting with people that like Star Wars. And that's why I do this show where I do crafts because this is what I would do alone in my bedroom. I would just be making, you know, Star Wars gunships out of paper or, you know, kind of use the, the like cardboard tube of like a wrapping paper and like turn it into a lightsaber. That's very much how I kind of grew up playing 
Uh, so this is very much just an extension of that, this show. So that's why I really, I mean, yes, you can watch the show, but I'm, I really love doing this show. Uh, my little sister is about how old you were then and she and she's not teased but I guess times have changed yeah see like I would say now yeah it's not a big thing like if a girl likes I was like no one you don't really say anything um but yeah even 10 years ago it was super super different but that's amazing though I love that I love 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 that rebels of clone wars clone wars I do love rebels though I do very much love rebels but but clone wars uh are you excited for the Ahsoka show I feel like it will be the show Show to bring back uh, Tree Styles back to life. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm very excited for the Ahsoka show. I'm a very big Ahsoka fan, very, very big Ahsoka fan. So I, I think that show's got so much potential. It's going to be such an interesting journey that we go on in that show. So, so yeah, super keen, super, super keen. Uh, how did you start your Star Wars channel? Um, I made an email and I thought of a name and I made a YouTube account. That's practically how I did it, but uh, I've been doing this for a little while. I've got a lot of friends in the podcast field, um, and I've done podcasts. So I was podcasting on a different channel before this, so even though this one's uh, only about five months old, I have been podcasting for oh, two years now, just about two years now, so I'm fairly versed in it. Oh my gosh, I, I'm so behind on the comments, but we'll, we'll get started with the, with the tasks today. And then we'll keep the discussion going. Now, if you're new to the show, you don't know what this is. You don't know what I'm about to do. But if you do know the show, you know what's about to happen. We have an element of the show so you can see hands-on what is happening and what I'm making. So please, everybody, welcome to the show. Action Cam. Action Cam, uh, like I said, gives us a little look into what I'm creating. Uh, you can see on my desk, I've put, I've put the paper down because we're going to be painting today. We're creating. We're going to get messy today. Uh, and I've got my canvas ready to go as well. Uh, so sometimes action cam takes a second to kind of sync up with everything. Uh, but this is how we're going to get a little look into what we're going to make today, which is a, a painting of a Star Wars planet. And I've chosen Camino because I like the blues. I like the blues of, of Camino. It's a, it's a pretty planet. It's a pretty planet. Rip, rip Camino in Bad Batch. Jeez, I didn't know I got emotionally attached to a planet or a place until that final finale of uh, finale of Camino, finale of the Bad Batch. Um, but that's what we're going to be doing today. Take this open. So we've got our. It's actually. Do you know how hard it is to find a circular canvas? Incredibly difficult. Incredibly difficult. Oh my goodness. So. We're gonna be we're gonna be using a technique today called uh, paint. Oh, it's got a couple of names. Paint pouring. Uh, some people call it um, flow art or flow painting. Uh, it's a, essentially, you just have a very runny paint and it's very pourable. Uh, let me know if you're familiar with this technique. It's got some little little cups here to put it on. So it's a little bit higher. There we go. There we go. All right. Action Cam, Dave, Sevilla. Oh, Sevilla, good to have you here, man. Uh, Action Cam, I know. It can't, it comes in clutch every time. Love Action Cam. There was one show where Action Cam didn't work, and, man, you guys almost cancelled me. I, it was just so upsetting. Everyone was so upset, and it was hilarious. I, really, really, this show is about Action Cam, and I'm just here to, like, facilitate Action Cam, really. Uh, gotta love the Action Cam. So many Django Fetts died that day. That's true. That's true. Wow, that's a very... Confronting way to put it. I love that. Uh, is that canvas or cheesecake? Good question. It's a canvas. <laughs> Imagine that. Just like painting on a cheesecake. Uh, interesting concept. I like it. You should do a lightsaber design on another live stream. Well, that's an interesting idea. Um, out of what? Like out of... Oh, or maybe that's for me to decide. Maybe some like, I don't know, clay? I don't know, wood? Carve it? Maybe I should carve something out of wood. Uh, I've never seen a circular canvas before. There you go. <laughs> actually, it's the chat of the show. I love it. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah actually, um, circular canvas is hard to find. Okay, so essentially what we're doing, I'm just going to actually move this canvas to the side for a second. Um, what we're going to be doing, we've, I'm going to have these three kind of pots going. And this is the key element of the paint pour. Uh, so I don't know if you guys have um, versed with paint pouring, uh, it's a very like Pinteresty kind of thing where it's like you kind of have the different paints and you pour them on to together and they're really runny. 
Uh, and then they kind of marble together into this nice little painting, little artwork thing. Uh, so this is the key ingredient. Uh, this is called uh, a pouring medium. So you mix this with the color and it, it mixes all together. Super expensive though. My God, this tiny bottle, 400 mils. Um, it's like 65 bucks and that's on sale. So very expensive stuff. So we'll try and use only portions of it. Actually, Kemi, yeah, actually Kemi is the co-host, really. I should I should make like an AI voice for the action cam. That would be funny. That's that's what I'll do if I get over a thousand subs. I'll somehow create action cam to get a have a voice. Also, if you're new here to the show, absolutely, without a doubt, at least once, maybe more than once during the show, I run off because I've forgotten something. Uh, so if that happens, just talk amongst yourselves and uh, en enjoy the break if I ever forget something. Um, okay, let's get into it. So. The colors I have, I'm going simple, going simple for this paint uh, because I'm glad, actually, you can see Camino in the background here. Where, where, what direction do I point? Down here. This is Camino in the background here. Um, so I'm going for like, you can see the color there, like a, that dark blue. And I do have a bit of this lighter blue, which I only use a little bit of. Uh, and then I've just also got plain white as well. Um, mix that in, see how it goes. But I feel like this dark blue is what we're going to use most of. So we're going to start with that one. Ooh, this is a sweaty show. It's getting hot here in Australia. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it's probably getting cooler. Should I do this part? For, actually, no, I should put the, um, put the put the paint in first. Okay, so this is the dark color. God, God. Nico C, thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by. I genuinely mean that. A lot, a lot of you have commented incredibly nice things, and I so appreciate it. It's just... It's been overwhelming. It's been totally overwhelming, the show. And um, yesterday and, and getting everyone's support, it was mind-blowing. I just I had the most wild afternoon after that. I was like, what is happening? But I uh, really appreciate it. Um, lightsaber on a budget out of empty paper towel rolls. I could do that. That's a good one. I like that, Dave. Okay. So we add this. I feel like I'm going to need a lot of this. So I'm going to do quite a, quite a bit of that one. Now I didn't have spoons, so I just got I'm gonna mix it with a fork, which is kind of weird. But um but you'll see in a second you mix it through and the paint tints the the like the pouring part of it, the pouring medium. Pouring medium is that what it's called? Yeah. And so it it kind of gives it the uh what's the word? There's like a fancy word, viscosity. The the runniness of water kind of thing, but it's still paint and it's still quite tinted I think I'm just gonna do a t oh. we'll see how we go we can always make more but we can't make less uh I've been working on stuff painting for years and haven't finished it well I hope this inspires you to finish it um welcome Dylan great for stopping by appreciate it uh start doing super chats I can I don't know if I can um am, am I I don't I actually don't know that with the threshold what do I need to do to do super chats I'll, I'll look into that I did well. I don't know if he did follow me. He showed it to the screen, but I don't know if he said he pressed follow. But uh, it is funny. I, I did feel really called out on my Star Wars Instagram account. I don't follow him, but on my private Instagram account, I did follow him. So that was interesting. <laughs> See, Rupio is the voice of Action Cam. That'll be funny. I don't, again, I'm not. I'm not a very techie person. If you've been to the show before, gee, the amount of technical difficulties we had last show, last week's show was just wild. That was, we had 50 things go wrong last show. So I'm really not a tech person. So it's been really interesting doing like a one-man show and just if something goes wrong, I just have to like figure it out. Ooh, that white did not want to come out. Okay. That's the white. It's almost done, that one. Oh, okay. Let's get a bit of white going. I'm not going to need too much of this white, I think. And then we'll get painting in a moment. So again, it just it just tints it. Mm, maybe we should have a bit more. It's going to be like the clouds of Camino, I think. You can kind of see it a little bit there on the background. There's quite a bit of cloud cover in Camino. That's a uh, what what season of Clone Wars is that? Where they go to? Oh, that's not Camino, is it? 
what am I thinking? Oh, I'm thinking of the Mon Cala arc. But there is there is that other Camino arc, the arc, tro arc Trooper. I think the episode or the arc is called like Arc Troopers. Um, and it's like Asajj Ventress like arrives on that like giant underwater squid thing, vehicle thing. <laughs> that was random. Clone Wars has some wild episodes. All right. We're almost ready to rumble here. I'll just, I don't know if I should make a little of the lighter color blue. We'll see, we'll see, uh, we'll see how we go. He does. Oh my God. That's, jeez, that's wild. <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> Omega. Hey. <laughs> Great name. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy Neutron. Uh, Omega. Next week, Action Cam is going to show up with more than 6 million forms of communication. I do, I do like the idea of C-3PO uh, voicing it. I like that. I like that. Uh, what's your favorite Star Wars film or shows? The favorite Star Wars film is The Phantom Menace. Um, but that sometimes interchanges with Empire as well. It depends what mood I am in. Uh, but probably Phantom Menace or Empire. Very close. Second. Um, or show? <sighs> Mando season two like hits different. Mando season two was pretty wild. I think the the season opener of, of Mando season two with the Crate Dragon and Cobb Vanth was Mo or probably my most watched Star Wars thing, I think. Uh, actually, Clone Wars. I actually have to... Actually, I'll take that back. I think Clone Wars probably beats Mando a little bit. Okay. Let's get the let's get the canvas back in here. And we'll start to see how we're going to do this. Okay. We put the little cup things back. So, we... I, I do the little cup thing. So, it's like when it runs off, it just runs off onto the paper. All right, let's, let's see how we go. Now, when this, um, when I start this process, it goes very quickly. So we have to act fast. I have to act fast when this happens. Uh, but I'll ask a few more questions, um, answer, answer a few more questions before we get into the painting. Uh, have you ever been to Galaxy's Edge? I've tried both blue milk and green milk, ended up liking green milk more. I have been to Galaxy's Edge. Oddly, didn't have the blue milk while I was there. Uh, but I've only been once, and it was in May this year when I went to Celebration. Uh, welcome. Hello, Hannah. Greetings from Costa Rica. I don't think I've ever had someone from Costa Rica. Welcome. Uh, love how you handled Theory Stream recently. I uh, truly love your, your energy and passion. Thank you. It's all for Star Wars, man, but uh, appreciate it. Appreciate it so much. Matthew with a question. Do Australians love American accents the way we love Australian accents? I do love them. I think in a different way. Uh, but, uh, cause Americans really love our accents. It's like that TikTok thing now. Like everyone loves the way we say no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no it's, that's quasi. Uh, I like a new, a New York accent is pretty, is pretty good. But, uh, like I was mentioning before, I've done podcasting for almost two years now for Star Wars, like in Star Wars. Um, and pretty much everyone I'm connected to is American. So I think maybe I'm a little desensitized to the American accent now. Cause I've worked with so many American people, um, but at the even still to this day, like I'll like you, you'll say a word, and I'll be like, "What the hell is that?" Or "What is? What are you trying to say?" Or, or vice versa, I'll say something, and they're like, "What the hell did you just say?" Uh, so maybe not the accent, but maybe just like the words, like we all use, is a little different, and it's kind of fun to discover that. Uh, such an Aussie thing to say, crikey! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's it's like a good exclamation though. Like you just. It's like a shocked, but like kind of funny shocked, like <laughs> crikey. So it's a good, exp I, I encourage everyone to use crikey. Thoughts on the sequels? Um, I, I I enjoy watching them. I enjoy watching them. I think, you know, Ray was like, well, she has half my last name. I like Ray. Uh, I definitely think there is some incredibly large story writing plot holes that are fascinatingly giant that i don't know how anyone didn't notice while creating the sequel trilogy um definitely things i would change there's many many things i would change but i don't know i don't spend too much of my energy trying to critique that you know that's just how those movies are and uh you know i, I like watching some parts I, I like a lot of the characters i loved leia in those movies i think she was an incredible character i would have you know it's really it really is sad that carrie uh passed away i think she was going to be like a real star of the rise of skywalker i think she was going to be very very reverent character and uh, just such an embodiment of like the spiritual force i think she is such an incredible 
character so i'm i'm really sad for that and yeah I, I like a lot of parts but i'm not definitely blind to the many many story plot holes that are kind of all throughout it and yeah a little confusing like why is there so many things missing so many questions cad bane live action was pretty great yeah it's pretty great it's pretty great you look pretty good it is an unfair question uh, are you doing anything? You know what? I because it happened so quickly, I haven't planned anything, but I will today. DeSavo, I think I'll I'll plan a little something. I might do a little giveaway. Uh, because it's just like it's you know, I was like, okay, this I'm gonna hit one thousand subs in like two years' time. That, that was my timeline. So for it to be like, oh, in 24 hours, uh, is just insane. So definitely I'll do something, keep uh stay posted on that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just insane. That poor says it all. Uh, favorite video game, uh, if it's a Star Wars one, uh, episode one Pod Racer, which was on Nintendo 64 originally, top tier, top tier game, great game. If it's a non Star Wars game, I'm a big Halo player, love Halo, love Halo Infinite. Um, DM me if you want to play Xbox sometime, play Halo, well, specifically Halo sometime. Um, my favorite film is episode three. Oh, we've got it dubbed in Chinese because that was the only DVD I had at the time. Wow, what an interesting way to watch that movie. I wonder if that, I wonder if that changed your watching of it. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, actually, I agree with the statement. Race Love Life is extremely, extremely questionable. I agree with that. Thank you so much, Andrew. Appreciate it. You legend. Uh, Texan here, and I've got friends from Brisbane. Yay. Planning on visiting them in a month. Brisbane's pretty good. Not too much there, but Brisbane's nice. It's nice. I know people there. Uh, but that's amazing. Uh, Unleash, KOTOR, Jedi Outca Outcast. Outca Jedi Outcast is a game I've been recommended to play many times, and I really want to play it. Uh, so definitely if I get that, I think I'll probably stream that because, yeah, a lot of people say it's good, and a lot of people have a lot of nostalgia for it. I mean, I have nothing against color. Ren shouldn't, uh, shouldn't exist. And that kiss made me throw up in my mouth. Yeah, that kiss and the random lesbian kiss at the end of Rise of Skywalker with, I don't know that rebel person's name, but her, that, that was really odd. I found that very odd. And that's coming from a lesbian. I was like, that was a really weird kiss that you've done. That Like, it was a very in-your-face kind of thing. Did not like it. Did not like it. Thank you so much. If you want to, uh, could you meet any Star Wars actor, voice actor, who could, would it be? It would be James Arnold Taylor. Seems like a pretty great guy. I'd love to be friends with him. He he seems cool. He seems cool. Yes. Oh, I was meant to say that. I said, yeah, I'm not from America, but uh, definitely encourage you to vote. That's an important thing. Uh, won't talk, go into politics. Um, I'm not a political show and it's not my country. So, but uh, yeah, go vote. Go vote exercise your right uh is it easy to vote in australia makes us jealous of your voting system uh yes it's easy because it's compulsory if you don't vote you get a massive fine and a bunch of stuff like you can't do a bunch of stuff so you have to vote yes so it's it's pretty easy everyone does it you have a sausage sizzle if you don't know what a sausage sizzle is that's like a bar you have a bar every voting place has a barbecue so you like it's like a, actually a fun enjoyable experience you go there you vote and then you get like a free sausage sandwich and like a can of coke and you have a great day so it's pretty it's pretty enjoyable enjoyable uh i also love halo infinite haven't played much lately but there's an update today with new maps yes i think there's only two new maps and maybe forge but that should be good Just keen for that i need to start that actually thank you for reminding me sebastian uh would love to have you on as a guest styles podcast next week let me know if you're interested dm me on instagram i absolutely i'm very Flattered, but I'm absolutely going to forget that. So DM me on Instagram uh, for that would be keen. I still believe that Fallen Order has no right to be. <laughs> That's a good point. I agree with that statement. Uh, that was a great game. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to tell you. I'm going to tell you all here because you, you're, you're here anyway. Coming to the channel is the Rayside Gaming. That's right. I'm going to start gaming on the channel, uh, doing get live streams of gaming every week. Uh, you, you might have seen the poll I put up a couple of days ago, and that was a very purposeful poll. Uh, and we're going to start uh, streaming Fallen Order because, of course, you're a Survivor slated to come out March next year, April, perhaps. Don't know. Don't know. Somewhere around there. But it's coming out. So I thought, let's stream Fallen Order, do it all again. Love that campaign. Haven't done it in a long time. So, um, yeah, go check it out.
uh when it comes when it comes out go check stay on the channel me uh so when i start gaming on here lesbian aussie star wars nerd is a fantastic combo yes very odd combo very niche i feel like i'm i'm in a real niche here but uh <laughs> glad to have you here <laughs> i love it good combo i find it kind of uh funny how ray kissed ben and she is a skywalker apparently yeah adoptive though adoptive but I get, I get your point though i get what you're saying though it's it's yeah i get you uh what time do you normally stream well the show the show is th now it's uh 7 p.m uh pacific time 10 p.m eastern time if you mean the live show but if you mean mean the gaming that hasn't been announced yet i've only just actually you, that was a sneak peek i've told you that we're gonna start gaming here uh, so that's coming very soon, and I'll I'll let you know of dates and times. There's gonna be it's probably gonna be a weekly thing. Uh, probably same time around now. Probably around some you know some PM Pacific. Uh, I just gotta choose what day. Ooh, that's a good question. Julie has a good question. Let's get Peyton. I just thought we're here. We're, we're 36 minutes in. Let's get Peyton, shall we? Uh, okay. Because I think let's while I'm gonna paint this, I can't look at too many comments because I'm gonna be super super focused. Uh, you hang on. You're from Adelaide. Paranormal Games is from Adelaide. Hello, Adelaide. I, you know what? I want to go there soon. I'm a big soccer fan. I follow the A League, so I really want to. And uh, I go for the Central Coast Mariners, so I really want to come to a, a game there in Adelaide against Adelaide. So I want to go there soon. Uh, do I have a favorite Star Wars book? Yes, yes, I do. Uh, Leia, Princess of Alderaan, fantastic book. If you enjoyed Leia and Kenobi, uh, read that book. Leia's like 16. And it's, it's actually a lot about Bria and Bale or Garner as well. Um, they have a great kind of influence in that book as well. So, yeah, I love that book. Okay, we're going to start pouring in a second here. So, again, I'm going to be super focused for a second as this happens. Okay. So, I feel like I've got to – I want to stand up for this part. Or, like, hover. Gee, I feel like I'm going to hit someone. Okay, now I'm ready. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, okay, all right, all right, the blue's down. You know what, I'm gonna, I wanna make the other blue as well. Oh my God, we should have done this before. Jeez. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I feel like I should have had a uh, music going while I do this. Celebration next year. I'm not going. It takes like 24 hours to get to London from here. It's way too difficult from Australia, uh, let alone expensive. But definitely when it's back in America. And if it's in America anytime, I'll be there. But London, a little, little too far for me. I'm still advocating there should be a celebration in Australia one day. Okay. I don't know why I feel the need to stand up for this part, but we're doing it anyway. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of this, this kind of blue here. Just a little bit. Okay, all right. I'm going to just, I'm going to start to move this around, essentially. So you start to see it come together. So we'll kind of go one way. I feel like I can sit down for this part. I feel like we're going to need a little bit more of everything. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know if I should use – should I use a fork to start to spread it? Let me Hang on. Let me get it in the action cam. So, essentially, I'm trying to just move it around. God. God. Where's the cup things? Okay, so we're starting to add a little bit of that white. You'll start the white really adds like an element to it. So you'll start to see in a second the white really adds to it. Add a bit more of this. Oh, we'll just we'll keep pouring this around actually for a bit. Maybe this should be the giveaway. <laughs> if this turns out any good, maybe this will be the one thousand subscriber giveaway. A hand painted planet of Camino. Jeez, you can't see it in the hang on. I'm gonna just shift this action cam up a little bit. Here we go. Crikey. All right. You 
Again, I feel I keep not turning. Come to Texas. I do have a very good friend in Texas, actually. I would come to Texas. All right. So I don't want to drip it off too much because I want it to kind of spread on the thing. So I know it doesn't look like yet, but stay, hang in there. Hang in there. I promise you it'll get there. Add a bit more white over here. Might add to a little bit more of this blue. How we're looking so far? From zero to Camino, how we're looking? It's not incredible yet, but just bear with me. It's coming. Add a bit more of that. Julie, I have to make it a goal to go to Celebration. Yeah, please. Next time it's in America, I'll be there. And hopefully we could do a meetup. Maybe we can meet some of you. That'd be, that'd be incredible. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is time sensitive. It's not actually that time sensitive. but All right, let's keep moving around. So we needed to get it to that edges. This is totally, <laughs> this is totally M1A, did it? Oh, Jesus, getting my hands. I feel like I should just use my hands to kind of push it out or something. Maybe I should just use this a little bit. Ooh, ooh, that's some interesting texture. Can you see that happen? Yeah, okay. Let's add a little bit more of this lighter blue in parts. Crikey on a stick. This is tricky. Also, the, another thing with these live shows is that I a key thing is I never practice beforehand. Uh, so you can trust in knowing that every show, it always goes quite crazy because I never practice beforehand. I just do it when we're, we're here. So you get an authentic experience. I haven't practiced, practiced this. I feel like this fork method is helping me a lot. I'm just spreading it to the edges, and then I think I might try and roll it around a bit more. You know what? It's kind of looking a bit more like Naboo, actually. If it was a bit more green, if I had some green in there, it definitely looked like Naboo. Okay. Oh, no, I got on my laptop. Oh, my crikey. Oh. <laughs> How we're doing? Thank you, Dave. Dave, you are so supportive. If I ever have a bad day, I'm just going to come to you, Dave. You make me feel so good about myself. Okay, I'm liking the actually the fork method is making some good um uh kind of shaping here. It's kind of circular parts as well. All right, let's keep mixing this in. How are we looking? This is a bit more planety, but I feel like I've got to keep mixing it around a little bit more. Jeez, this is getting messy. This is getting hands on. Not like the simulations are coming in. If I, here's a question. If I sold these, if I did more of these, if I did all the planets, Mustafa, Tatooine, Naboo, Coruscant. If I painted planets, would you buy these? Would you hang this on your wall? All right. And let's, let's add a bit more white around the place as well. And then we're going to keep kind of swirling some parts. Okay. Haha, -ha, pre folded napkin to help me out here. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep pouring. We're not finished, friends. We're not finished. I want to mix this wine in a little bit. Maybe I should just do that like the whole way along, but I kind of like this kind of rugged texture we're getting here. Okay. Whew, it's stressful. Yeah, I feel like it's a little too much white. Should I add some more of that dark blue? I, I would have to make some more dark blue if I did that. Okay, let's give it another pour this way. How about looking? It's quite shiny. The light is kind of making it quite shiny. But 
Okay. See, it changes quite a bit. So see, you can see it moving. It moves pretty slowly. We're kind of trying to get that movement so it doesn't look like I've purposely put it on there. Ooh. If you do Mustafa and Naboo, I'm get, definitely getting them. Good to know. Also, thank you for so much, Leon. Okay, we're having a bit of drippy drip. Let me get down here. What's this part down here? Let's drip this way. Camino, yeah, look like Camino. Light makes it look cool. Looks, thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Cat boy. No, no disrespect. Great job last night. Thank you so much, man. Aqua. Looks awesome. We'll definitely buy work on appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> no. I can't believe you've got about the stream. It's election night here, so I'm pretty exhausted. Just popped in to say hi. Hope you have a good night. Uh good day. That's thank you so much for popping by, Caleb. I was thinking when you were coming in, my friend, but yeah, rest up. It's been a big day, yeah, in America, election day. So um yeah. No, that's all good, my friend. Enjoy, rest, rest your evening away. The other thing I do want to kind of get it on these sides here. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do this part. This is fascinating. This is interesting. We should just roll it in this. Ooh. Look at that. It's a it's a lot more uh, marbled than the one we've got in the image there, but uh Yeah, that was that was wild. There is like if you can see on the image down here, there's kind of got that swirl at some point, and I kind of want to do that, but I don't want to wreck it completely. Like if I try and make that circular thing Whew. here we go you've got a bit of circle let's do that let's do that how we going whoo i think we're almost ready to just sit this one down now i'm gonna I, i'm gonna use my hands actually i feel like there's gonna be a better use gee i told you this was gonna get messy this show oh my crikey this is difficult to do. I just realized the mic's over here, but I'm still talking. So I hope you I hope you can hear me for this part. Okay, so just rubbing in the edges to kind of make it look a bit more of a finished product. I'm so worried about dripping this on me. <laughs> this is so fun. God, I maybe I should just make a planet every week. Just a new planet every week. It's a, that's really fun. Oh, crap. I keep getting on my laptop, man. Really loving this, Hannah. So cool. Maybe use a cotton ball or something next time to help swirl the... Oh, like, yeah. That's that's a smart idea. I definitely feel like I should just make a series of this. Just make a new planet every week and just see how my techniques improve. Because, again, this is like... It's not my first time doing a pore paint. I've done one before, but this is my first time doing it, like, circular and trying to make it look like something. Usually I've just done it kind of abstractly. Abstractly? Is that a word? Okay. I don't a bit more paint here. I'm just getting in with my hands. I feel like a bear with a honey pot. I'm just like dipping my hands into the paint. Crikey. I vote for Dathomim next. Yeah, that would be a cool one. I like that idea. Dathomim would be very good. Give us Dathomir content. Give us Dathomir and Acolyte. There's an idea. There's an idea. If you're watching the, the stream yesterday... Uh, you know, theories talking about um, predictions for like Acoly Acolyte and everyone's like, oh, it's like kind of nothing. Kind of nothing. It's like the coolest premise of the show, of a show. Like something that's not centered around the light side. It's about the dark side. This kind of, we've got this kind of loose premise of like a master and apprentice and then like the apprentice goes uh, Sif, I think. Okay. Is the edge all done? The, the edges are all done? Edges are all done, I think. Yes. Okay, cool. Check that out. Let's let's put let's put it under action cam because I feel like that's gonna be a little easier. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Look at my hands. 
you know what? I'm going to get my little cups back again. I think that was the way to do it. And then we'll get back to talking, shan't we? Oh, Christ. I'm getting the paint everywhere. And then let's talk about Acolyte because I feel like that's going to be an underrated show. Woo! From zero to Camino. <laughs> How are we looking? I feel like it's a little bit watery. Maybe it could be Moncala because it looks very watery. But uh, yeah, that's for a first attempt. I'm 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 pretty happy with that. What a! <laughs> it's all for the enjoyment. That was very. I feel like I worked up a sweat doing that. That was intense. Okay, like I said before, if you haven't uh, been to the show before, at least once a show, I run away to go do something and then I am leave it to you to talk amongst yourselves. And this is that time. So I'm going to go wash my hands, talk amongst yourselves, and I'll be back in a second. Ooh, boy. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. Okay. That was wild. What a painting. What a painting. All right. So what have we been, been saying in the chat? What have we been talking about? I don't know. I'm going to somehow reach across this painting now. I'm going to just leave it there. Uh, this takes a, quite a while to dry. So we're going to leave it here for the rest of the show. And it'll probably take another day or so to dry. Uh, and then... Uh, I don't know what I'll do with it. I, I kind of jokingly say I'll give away for the giveaway, but let me know if I should really do that. Jeez, paint on the computer. Jeez. All right. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Francisco. Good job. Yeah, I, it's not too bad. I feel like maybe I mixed it around too much. It's a little too marbled. But that's a, it's a good first go. Uh, Loki, feel like nothing will... Uh, read properly Hannah Loki feel like nothing will reach the same popularity as Mando season one yeah I mean it feels like that a little bit now I think but you know I think I don't know like I feel like Ahsoka will be quite popular and maybe that will grow on people um Ac Acolyte has a lot of potential for me I, I can see that show being very successful and that show being similar to Andor uh but just maybe a little different I don't want to say better. I don't think that's the word I want. But, yeah, I, th I think Acolyte has a lot of potential to do really, really well. I uh, hope the Acolyte is good. In my opinion, Lucas' film tends to do better with the original characters uh, and plots. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I like that. Uh, Sin City, Sith. I'm going to work on that one on the off time. I'm going to try and work on that one because I can't get that right. Uh, Acolyte uh, could be amazing simply because there won't be any legacy people. Or canon to go off so they can literally make it up as they go. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good point. Thank you, great, great artist. Thank you. I I wouldn't count myself as an artist, but I appreciate that. Just having fun with it. Just making, having fun with it. But I appreciate. It. Thank you so much. Yeah, I feel like every week now I should just paint a different planet. That would make that would make planning these shows is so much easier. <laughs> good question. The answer is yes. Love uh, your energy. Thank you. I, I uh, made it myself. Made it myself. Uh, don't know. Manu Ahsoka is a pretty popular character. Yeah, I feel like that has, yeah, some good potential. Uh, Jodie Turner-Smith, she played Anne Bol uh, Bolton. Um, now she's going to bring fire to the next act. Like, yeah, actually, I looked into her um, when she got announced and looked into her previous stuff. She seems really good. She's got good chops, good acting chops. So. Yeah, very keen for her to be in the show. I think the, I think the cast is pretty good. I was pretty happy with that cast announcement. Also, I, apologies if my Wi-Fi goes in and out a little bit right now. We're going to have some thunderstorms here soon, so apologies for that. Uh, using spray paint to create the cloudy mist effect could look good also. Hey, that's a good idea. Oh, I've seen those videos on like TikToks and things where they like kind of do the shadow thing and they kind of put the 
cap on i think i know what you mean yeah that would be cool uh love your videos from new york city new york city i feel like you just gotta yell that um th thank you so much uh great to have you here thank you for stopping by appreciate it so much if you had to pick one legacy character to appear in acolyte would it be uh would you rather see plague of spain or revan um Plagueis. Plagueis. Definitely, for sure. Uh, Sin City, Sith says Bane. Uh, or, or River. Or River. Uh, Dave, expectations are high for Ahsoka. No one knows what to expect from Acolyte. So far has uh, a better chance to impress fans. Yeah, definitely. I think when there's not this big expectation coming into it, I think it's a lot easier to digest kind of what it's going to be. Uh, Ahsoka, Ezra, Sabine, and Thrawn are really uh, pretty high on my favorite character list, so I'm really hyped for Ahsoka. Yeah, I, I think the, the storyline of Ahsoka is going to be really good, and Dave, you know, being like the, the head of the ship for that show, I think is going to be really smart. I think we're going to get a really good Star Wars storyline from that show with, of course, like with Thrawn and Ezra and Sabine finding them, how they're going to find them. Like, I think that's just such a great premise. Uh... Oh, welcome. Welcome, Patrick. Hi, Anna. In chat, you sub from Melbourne. I love Melbourne. I was there like a month ago. I love it. Love it. Um, yeah, great things to say from Melbourne. If I had to move anywhere, I'm up near Sydney, I would definitely move to Melbourne. Oh, no, we have a bot in the chat. I don't usually have that. Is that how I do it? Block. Jeez. <sighs> Attack of the bots. Attack of the bots. Uh, okay, I best take a nap. Uh, thank you for the great show. More videos. Hint, Darth Maul. Ooh, ooh. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Julie. Take care. I'm, I'm assuming you're napping for Andor coming out, which I just totally forgot that was today. Uh, but, yeah, take care. Hope you enjoy Andor. Jedi Joey, found you out last night's stream. Love from Rayleigh, New uh, North Carolina? Is that NC? I only know that because I watch Rhett and Link, and they're from you know, they're from they're from North Carolina, right? That's so. Is that what you mean, really? North Carolina, us and NC. Hopefully, but hello anyway. Welcome to have you. So good to have you here, uh, Joel. Strangely, they have a pretty low expectations. I don't know why, but for some reason, I think when I think of the Ahsoka show, I just feel tired. Ooh, that's a deep thought, Joel. That's fair. I mean, a lot of fans could argue that Ahsoka is overused, and I combat that argument with. She's overused because she's a really pertinent character to Star Wars and she embodies a lot of what the stories where they need to go. I think there's a reason she's overused. I wouldn't say she's overused though, but I think, you know, I, but I can understand that if you're not a big fan or don't super connect, like I super connect with Ahsoka. I was like the same age as her in Clone Wars and, uh, you know, a female Jedi or, you know, I kind of connect with her. If you're like a 50 year old man, there's just like a little less likelihood you can super connect with Ahsoka. I'm not saying you can't. Be just a little less likelihood. So I understand that point of view. Uh, Chase, hey there from Houston, Texas. I love Texans in tonight. Love your nerd theory. You also you got to shine. Thank you so much, my friend. Really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate that. Red Hood, hello there. G'day there. Uh, Sin City, I want Ahsoka to be about Ahsoka, not just Rebels 2. Yeah, I agree. I think it will be. I think, I think uh, Dave will be very um, aware of that. I feel like he's not going to do that too much so yeah i think it should be good uh chris how are you suffering the three yes Fias fiasco that's a great word for a bit from the other night uh good to have you here chris thank you so much for stopping by uh also I, I i just before i go on how do i pronounce this like is that like couch but with an f like fouch is that what that word is fouch facts that's just how i'm gonna go with it uh <laughs> what point in the timeline is acolyte set uh, is is it a couple hundred years before episode one? Yeah, I believe it's two hundred years or hundred years, one or two, I forget which one. But yes, it's it's like one or two hundred years before Phantom Menace, uh, which is really really interesting. I think that's a that's a good timeline to set in, and I do predict that there's going to be some hints. If you're a High Republic fan, I feel like we're going to be satisfied with maybe some hints of some previous thing with concepts and places maybe we've seen the books maybe in this show Acolyte. uh loving the star wars shows but seriously need a star wars movie to go see in theaters nothing beats that absolutely absolutely it's the same i was just talking about this with my brother today actually there's something about you know when star wars movies would come out in december 
obviously here in Australia, it's super hot. And there's nothing like when it was super hot outside and you'd go to the movies, it's air conned, you sit down and you watch a brand new Star Wars movie. That is such an experience here in Australia and it's so satisfying. Uh, so definitely miss that. I super miss that. Thrawn is my favorite Star Wars character. So excited to see him in live action. Yeah, he's going to be good. I hope they, I wonder if they're going to do the paint thing, how they're going to do the color of the skin. it would be interesting. Uh, North Carolina. There we go. Uh, yes, read a link uh, from there. Well, yay. Another, uh, hopefully you're a fan. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of this show. Big fan of the show. But yes, there you go. North Carolina, represent. Thank, thank you for being here, Jedi Joey. Uh, yeah, good mythical morning. Good mythical morning. Uh, Soak is going to be great. We'll have uh, we will have the answer t- uh, to what Ezra is counting on Sabine. Absolutely, I think. Yeah, like I said, I think that's going to be a very interesting storyline. I think it's going to be super interesting. Uh, I'm not a fan of the Soak is o- overused. The argument is because I think she's a good character and still has story to tell. Yeah, absolutely. I think that was like kind of where well, yeah, what I'm getting at here is like she- she's used a lot because she's very uh, like. Not complicated, but she's very complex. And I think there's a lot of layers to her character that just there's so much to tell. So much to tell. I'm pretty pretty behind here. Uh you think we'll see Zeb and Chopper and Ahsoka too? I think I think we'll see Chopper. I think we'll see Chop. He he debuted at Celebration. Um Zeb, I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know how they would do Zeb. Would it be just someone in a suit like a Chewbacca? That'd be interesting. I don't know. I haven't thought about that enough. I'm going to think about that one. But potentially, potentially. Do you know what the gritty is? Is that like a weird dance thing? I feel like I've seen that on TikTok. I don't know. For being 23, I'm not very up with the, like, the things that, I don't know, people, the trends. I don't know. I'm not really up with it. But I feel, I that's what that is. The gritty? I thought it was the giddy. I don't know. Uh, I do get the argument that she should have died in Rebels, though. Ooh. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I don't think she should have. I feel like... Uh, I don't know. Actually, I've got to think about that one. got to think of that one. Uh, I'm still shook about Dooku versus Yad and Taylor's the Jedi. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever be unshook from that. That was it. That was a crazy time. Um, that was a, that was a crazy, crazy time. Great battle though. That was a good little scene there and the way Yaddle was trying to, you know, trying to connect with Dooku. We haven't really seen a, a Jedi do that so much to speak. Yaddle was like the first one we really see a Jedi kind of exercise empathy, you know, even really kind Jedi, like I think to an extent, everyone's pretty kind and Ahsoka and Qui-Gon, they weren't maybe that aware enough to kind of feel Anakin or, Whoever, you know, kind of leaning to that side. But I think Yaddle was really a sympathetic Jedi, which is really new to see. Really, really interesting to see. Okay, got it. Got it. I made a clip of the events that happened last night. Love I love it if you in theory can watch it sometime. That would be, I would love to watch that. That would be hilarious because I'm pretty sure the first like 60 seconds, I didn't realize what was happening. Uh, I didn't process what was happening, so I bet that's quite funny, quite odd. With Dave heavily involved with the Soka show, it seems uh, it seems to have the pulse of Star Wars fans want and love to see in live action. Yeah, I I do think that, and I I credit that to his George George's like Padawan. He's George's like Star Wars son that like knows and and learned so much from George directly. So I think that's why his stories in particular. Uh, are doing quite well and uh, yeah the, probably the most most popular stories oh man let me just have another drink first so much so much so much talking tonight so much talking fantastic job it was so much fun hope you have reap the lots of benefits from it i already am man it's been it's been an incredible 24 hours i'm still in shock i think it's just been wild been wild uh but thank you appreciate that uh, I'm liking the fact that Tony Gilroy has introduced an, an alternative vibe to the Star Wars universe. I love Filoni stuff, but I don't want it to totally dominate. Yeah, I think that's a fantastic point. I think that's a really important point to make of and or whether you, you know, it's your favorite show or not. I think the most important this thing, this show, the most important thing this show has done is set an, a different time for a Star Wars piece of media. And I think that was really important to do. And especially in this, like, they're still very new to this age of Star Wars' television. It's been 
a movie franchise for 40 years and it's only been a TV franchise for three years. So I think, you know, we're really new into the TV age and side of, of Star Wars. So I think as much as, you know, we can kind of critique maybe Boba Fett and Boba Fett felt a bit rushed and Obi-Wan felt a bit small and oh, it has this but it doesn't have this. Like I feel like a lot of the shows are going to have that because they're still kind of going through these growing pains and growing pains of understanding how to make a Star Wars show that works, that has good characters, that the story is paced perfectly, that the, the amount of episodes are right and the episode lengths are right. Like I think we're in the growing pains mo- period of that. Um, so I, I agree. I think Gilroy giving a different tone like I wouldn't say it's my favorite time, but it's a, the the biggest thing I'm taking away from Andor is that it's really important that we have this different feel of media in Star Wars. I think it's just growing pains. I think that's the key word today. We're going through growing pains. Not that Andor is a pain. I I enjoy most of the show. <laughs> uh, John Easley, my new favorite YouTube channel. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, John. That may have pre- appreciate it so much, my friend. Really, really means a lot. Uh, but I feel like it was also one of the best parts. Got to meet some uh, awesome people. Yeah, it took last night's dream. Yeah, it's wild. It's a good time. It's a good time. Uh, I like to think of Ahsoka as a neutral character in Star Wars. Yeah, she's pretty neutral. Pretty, pretty neutral. I think the cool thing about Disney Plus shows is that they're able to go full out exploring the different sides of Star Wars and are focusing on the rebellion, revolution side of Star Wars. Joel, if they tried to do uh, Ender with a Filoni Favreau tone, I 100% believe it would have been a fail big time. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I would go to be like, oh, it would fail, but it would definitely, I don't think it would have been maybe stretched in the right ways that I think Tony Gory has stretched the show. Uh, yeah, so I, I fairly I fairly agree with that. Should play Battlefront 2 on stream. Yeah, I'll, I would do that. I'd be up for that. Um, and again, if you if you po- I think you've popped into the show, I have mentioned the Rayside Gaming is coming to the channel. Date and times to be determined, TBD, but uh, it, it is coming to the channel. Star Wars Gaming. It's going to be a good time. Uh, Johnny Mac, just want to say that you did an amazing job. Thank you. During the impromptu nerd theory. Thank you so much. It was chaotic. But if, you, if you've been here for the show today, like this is what the show is. Like I'm used to sitting for like two hours and just reading comments and having a chat with you guys. So as much I was like in shock of what was happening, it's also I was like, oh, this is what I do on my own show. So I, I felt pretty comfortable doing it. It was kind of wild. Wow, so wild. Joshua Gruden. Great name. Great last name. I think Filoni's style of work uh, works a lot better for the animation shows. And then these more dramatic shows like Andor work for live action. Yeah, I agree with that. That's a good point. That's a good point. Thank you so much. Uh, any chance? Uh, I, don't, I Maybe. Hopefully perhaps perhaps we'll see we'll see what happens uh yeah we'll see if theory three theory um reaches out would love to though uh i just got i i play on xbox i play on xbox very exclusively xbox i'm kind of one of those people that's like i feel like most people are it's like if you play one you don't play the other like i've never had a playstation in my lifetime never will never will uh <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can dig this type of stream. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty random. Uh, like we'll paint today, but then next week we're going to like make some random food or like, I don't even know what we're doing next week. Like we've done Lego builds. We've done a bunch of stuff here, but, uh, it's a good time. That's why I'm like, it's just a variety show. I can't really, can't really describe what this show is. It's just a variety show. Uh, Game of Vault, howdy. May the force be with you. Right back at you. Great to have you here. Thank you for stopping by. Are there any characters you would want to see in live action that aren't already soon to be? Um, I mean, they've already been in a in a live action movie. I would love to have a live action show about pod races <laughs> and all the pod races of pilots. I think that would be a good show. Uh, so even though we've got them in Phantom Menace, I think they deserve their own show. Uh, so I'd love to see, like, Sebulba. Um, and perhaps perhaps this guy as well. I don't know if you guys remember this guy. <laughs> the Mars Guo guy. Mars Guo is a legendary character. I want him on a show. Give him his own TV show. The Mars Guo Show. Great. Favorite character. Favorite Star Wars character. 
Team Xbox all the way. I love it. Uh, Mr. Wonderful, hello there from Theory's channel. You are awesome. You are awesome. Great profile picture. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. Uh, go to the stream. Thank you. You guys are so nice. I, I, why are you all so nice? This is so just. I'm just really overwhelmed with the kindness. Honestly, really appreciate it. Uh, Hannah, do you want to become a full time YouTuber as a career? Uh, it's definitely yes. Essentially, yes. Uh, there's a, another career I, I am pursuing at the moment as well, which is a career in props making. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes first with either one of those, props or YouTube, whatever can sustain me, uh, I will go for. But definitely it's in the cards. I mean, I love talking. I love talking Star Wars. I love making stuff. To If I could do this full time, if I could get paid for it and not have to do anything else, would be incredible. Would be incredible. So definitely the goal. Mars Gua, a Star Wars story. There it is. There's the title. We've got the title. We've got the title. Amazing. I love it. Thank you so much. That's it. That's, I'm going to write that down. Uh, favorite dark side user? Darth Maul. Darth Maul. <laughs> YouTube or painter, I imagine. Uh, Hannah again showing her spot on Star Wars impressions. Looking forward to what other characters she has <laughs> to surprise with us. I do have some other impressions I can do, but I'll, I'll leave them for another stream. Leave you, leave you wondering about what I can do. But my, but my Mars Guru one is, is my favorite to do. Uh, I didn't do it too well before. Hang on. Let me try again. I... That's, that's it. There it is. Like, it's like you got to get the, you got to get the kind of guttural sound at the start there. Uh, bro, ain't nobody want to work nine five in an office. Let's keep it a buck. Uh, keep it a buck. I, I, what does this saying mean? Like, let's keep it a buck. What, is it, what does that mean? Okay, let's keep it. Let's in an office. Let's keep it a buck, bro. Ain't nobody want to work to find. I does that mean are you are you agreeing? I think you're agreeing. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Uh, I have thought about it. I have thought about this making Star Wars props and uh, make that a series on your channel. Definitely thinking about it because I I do it in all my spare time when I'm not on here doing this. I'm I'm making stuff. I'm making stuff. Uh, so glad to hear Phantom Menace is your favorite. It's only so underrated in the fandom. And I watch it pretty consistently. Yeah, for sure. I think a lot of people like don't like it or those people also like to kind of crap on it as well. So I'm very overtly like Phantom Menace is my favorite. Like give it some love. I, you know, I don't care if, you know, anyone's like, oh, it's, it's got, you know, Jar Jar Binks. What, whatever. Whatever. I, it's, he's funny, kind of. In an ironic way, he's funny. Love Phantom Menace. Again, I could confidently quote 75% of that movie. Like, chronologically, could confidently do that. I didn't think it would be funny if they just started taking random background characters like they what they did with Quinlan and just uh, made them a whole show out of them. Yeah, I feel like we'll get to that point, though. We'll be getting, like, random, like, Wok Tambor, the Wok Tambor show. So, actually, that's a character. That's a character I would love to see a live show on. <laughs> uh, chats, if you want to make money. You know what? It's not even making the money. It's like, if, if I started super chatting, it would literally go into like because every week I have something to make and that's just coming out of my own money. So if if I started super chats and if you guys were open to that, it would literally just go straight back into making these streams cool as possible, making cooler things every week. Uh, so definitely, I'll be considering that. These streams are great. I've no doubt you become one of the top stars channel. Thank you. Already one of my favorites. That means so much. I appreciate that so much. I it I can't I can't quite put into words what that means. I, it's just. My little 10-year-old self that was a closeted Star Wars fan, I would secretly read Star Wars books in the library at school so no, none of my friends would know that that little Star Wars fan is so thrilled with that. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Tavo. Maybe one season two with Darth Maul as a villain would be so cool. Wouldn't make sense though. Wouldn't make sense, but I understand. Like, it would be cool. That's a cool concept. Uh, like, let's be, oh, let's be real. Let's keep it a buck. Let's be real. Let's, I'm going to use that one, Gamma Vault. I love that. Let's keep it a buck. Uh, what I mean is I want to Max Rebo a Star Wars story and I want it now. You know, I feel like I'm spoiling the video that's coming out in a couple of days that I have, but I have a video about Star Wars shows that should come to Star Wars. And it's kind of half ironic, but half completely serious. And I won't spoil it, but that is kind of in the video. So that's coming out soon. What's your number two Star Wars movie? Probably Empire. Probably Empire, I would have to say. That's a secret. <laughs> Is it secret? Is it safe? 
Random World Range reference. Uh, Judger is the best. I have a buddy that 3D prints things for me. I've had him do a phase two Clint Herman, Amanda Herman, a few lightsabers. It's so fun to paint and finish those projects. Yeah, that's one thing, one area like I haven't gone in, which I really want to get into. Um, I'm not good with techie stuff, right? So I feel like I couldn't do the 3D printing part of it, but I would, yeah, to like finish it off would be super, super fun. Uh, thank you, Lock Poppy. Appreciate it, man. That, that, that makes, makes, means a lot. Means a lot. That's really funny. Don't bra me. Best movie. And it's, it, you know, subjective. Like, yeah, yeah, everyone can have their own favorites, but don't bra me. <laughs> Great idea. Yeah, for sure. Like, I think, yeah, Dave, that's a good point. Everyone has their favorites because of what they connect for whatever reason. Never wrong answer for favorite styles film, for sure, for sure. Thank you. Yeah, I I don't know if it's like moved since I feel like it has slightly maybe moved this way a little more. I don't know if it's like jeez, oh, I don't know, but it's 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 looking good. I'm I'm pretty, fairly happy with it. Thank you. Uh, Phantom Menace isn't a close to my favorite Star Wars movie, but I think uh, it's way way too overhated. Yeah, definitely. Like if you don't like it, just don't watch it. I, it's like it's like energy to like overtly hate it. It's like, ugh. uh, but yeah, everyone's got their opinions. Like that's that's fair. A lot of people, it's like yeah, it's like their least favorite. <laughs> I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. See, okay. So if you if you don't like. Or if you're indifferent in, of, on the Phantom Menace, my recommendation is the next time, go watch it again. But watch it in the mindset that it's a comedy movie. Watch it in the mindset it's a comedy movie. It'll change your perspective completely. Every line of the Phantom Menace could be like a, a banger one-liner of a joke. Just hilarious dialogue and i kind of say that in seriousness of like it is kind of ridiculous the dialogue of that movie is like so random and kind of odd but each line is like just so wholesome it's so good i don't know just watch it as if it's a comedy and you might you might enjoy it uh hannah i said earlier super chats and we can bankroll the art with the hannah segment uh bankroll the art with the hannahs i don't even what are these sayings you all have? I don't even know what that means. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I will look into the super chat thing again. If you were keen to do that, I just might go straight back into making the show um, a cooler every week. Because again, I buy things, I buy food, all the food ingredients for every making food, and um, you know for the blue milk and noodles and everything I make here is all my own money. So super chats would just go straight into making this show a little bit cooler every week. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, well, Obi Wan season two, not mentioned season one, making it a soft reboot. No, I don't think so. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> he makes the instead of the Crimson Dawn, it'll be called like the Sapphire Dawn. He'll he'll, he'll be the new criminal <laughs> underlord, under underworld lord, underlord. Uh, we need to recruit Elon to make a real lightsaber. <laughs> Jeez. Elon Musk, man. That's facts. That is a fact. Max Rubro Snoke. It's confirmed. Correct. Uh, is the planet a dinner plate? <laughs> uh, no, it's a canvas, but maybe I could use it as a dinner plate. <laughs> 5 a.m. in Germany. He just saw your nerd theory yesterday. Nice to come across your channel. Wow, thank you so much. And 5 a.m. Crikey, go to bed. Or get up for the day. Whatever you're doing. But uh, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> means a lot means a lot uh i'm wait uh, um let's start that again i'm waiting for a star wars section in my local grocery store you know it's going to happen just a matter of time yeah maybe I, you know what i really should come out with like a star wars line of food i was you know what? i've considered making a star wars um cookbook even though they like it's got the galaxy's edge one but i feel like there's so many potential Star Wars, like, cocktails and dishes. We've done a bunch of cocktails here. We've made our own cocktails here. I made mean, the other week we made, a, like, a Mace Windu-inspired cocktail. I feel like I should come out with a, with a Star Wars cocktail book. Uh, you can watch all the Star Wars prequels that way. Uh, you can turn even a Re uh, Revenge of the Sith line into a meme. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean, man. It's like, if you just look at it as if it's a big meme, you're going to enjoy it. It's a good time. 
Uh, no idea. I uh, no idea, but uh, ho- hope to have some good conversation with those guys over there. Um, it's it's gonna yeah, they're good people. Uh, hey, it's theories. You ring up. Yeah, sure is, man. Sure is. Uh, bro, the circle. Uh, the circle. The the sequel movies hurt my heart. Like the first one was so good, but then they turned Star Wars against uh, everyone, basically. Uh, yeah, no, you know, you, you can't deny the the effect it had on the fandom, but uh, yeah, that, that's fair. That's fair. I, I, I appreciate that for you. Uh, I noticed that Pe- uh, Phantom Menace has more political politics involved than the other prequels. I'm glad they brought back that back in Andor. Yes, I'm a big fan of Star Wars politics. Clone Wars had some amazing arcs that were just all around politics. Padme and Ahsoka and the Senate. Those are so good. They're actually, that's one of my criticisms of Andor. I feel like we should have been getting more Senate. And definitely more Mon Mothma. I think she's too complex of a character to just be in the show as little as she is. Although I do appreciate it's an Andor show. I just think, I don't know. Maybe I want a Mon Mothman live action show. Maybe that's what I want. I think that's cool. Uh, oh, you made it up. I get you now. With Art with Hannah. I love that. Uh, maybe I should Ray Art. Art side. There you go. The art side. I'll turn it a bit there. I rewatched all the Star Wars movies. Uh, I was a little high, but some of the lines throughout the prequels are amazing. And the amount of, uh, and the amount of blue, uh, it makes me really love the prequels even more. I feel like that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Watch it while you're high. That would be, that'd be an experience. Lord Rebo. <laughs> the spice is successfully being delivered. I love that. Man, I can't keep up with these comments. Thank you so much, everyone, for like sticking around this whole time. Um, what have we got? I love Attack of Clones. Opening night was the best cinematic experience I've had. The speeder scene in Coruscant. The sound of that whole speeder scene was oh, chef kiss, beautiful. Uh, the speeder scene, uh, so yeah, uh, the arena scene, and across the stars, Padme. I truly, deeply love you. Yeah. I, th- that Padme in Attack of the Clones was definitely my gay awakening. Oh, uh, my God. Yeah, Padme Amidala. <laughs> Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. How do I do this? How do I make this? How do I start that? There we go. There we go. Sorry. Uh, but the big question is, uh, have you made jaw juice? No, but that is a good suggestion. That is a very good dis- d- uh, suggestion. I feel like I could do that one day. I just got to figure out what's in it. What's in ju- like what, what? What do we think is in Jaw Juice? That's the question. It's your favorite film in the sequel trilogy. Force Awakens. I think Force Awakens. I think Force Awakens. I think I think it's a pretty good movie. Yeah, Attack of the Clones was way better, but cringy romance ruins it a bit. Yeah, it's it's cringy, but you know, like Star Wars is cringy. I feel like that's why it's good. <laughs> Real life death sticks. That'd be funny. Two uh, top prequel trilogy meme moments. I don't have a pen. Damn it! I'll write that down. Remind me that later. That's a good idea. That's a good suggestion. So if you haven't uh, seen my series, the the best of Star Wars series. I essentially just rank the best things of Star Wars. It's just to share a little bit of, you know, positivity and fun, good time memories uh, online. But uh, if you ever have a suggestion, feel free to message me. Uh, it I Most of the things I take from you, uh, people's suggestions. So uh, that's the series going on, and I rank the, the three best things of that topic. Um, I've had some really odd suggestions. Uh, best, like, uh, actually, no, they're odd, not odd. They're just, they're, they're like different, and I like them. Uh, best entrances, best on screen Star Wars food, best friendships. Had some good suggestions. So, if you have anyone, any suggestions, uh, do let me know. Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. Uh, Mon Mothma has become one of my favorite characters thanks to Andor. Yeah, definitely. Mon Mothma, Genevieve O'Reilly, great actress. Totally agree. <laughs> Mummy Mothma, love it. Yeah, I, do, I agree with that. The seismic charge in Attack of the Clones is the best sound in Star Wars. Yes, I feel like that that recent video I did. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, the top prequel sounds. I'm gonna next is also gonna be the original trilogy sounds um, as well. Uh, yes, yeah, I, I feel like I couldn't have chose chosen a different one. Seismic charge is like top tier. Nothing beats it. I would, I would argue that's the best sound of the whole franchise. So so good. 
Uh, <laughs> you know what? I do semi regret this one. I feel like Zam Wizzle, Wizzles, Weasels. How do you say it last time? Uh, ship the that one. I feel like that probably could have been third above Obi Wan's Barakdal. Red Hood, uh, Attack of the Clones, Jedi Arena, Arena scenes, uh, literally one of my favorite scenes of Star Wars, seeing it as a kid is like, holy shit, look at all these Jedi. Uh, had me flat, I don't know why that was my impression of you. Uh, had, had me flabbergasted as a kid. Yeah, I mean, talk about some cool Jedi. Got Shark Man over here, about to annihilate Dooku, but gets cooked right in the last minute. That was a, that was a great Jedi. I want more of him. Uh, it was so great seeing Padme in the prequels really doing a deep dive in Clone Wars and learning what a uh, truly amazing character she was. Brave, tough, brilliant, and empathetic to common folks. Yeah, such good work in the Clone Wars. I, th I think her character just deserved that. You know, she had a great character in the prequels, and I think Clone Wars definitely did her character justice. I think we, we explored her so well. Uh, and, you know, obviously made her death even more sad and impactful when we see it in Revenge of the Sith and also Tales of the Jedi now. Also tells the Jedi. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you. Uh, odd question. Was the actor who plays the prisoner that died of a stroke in Endor also an Orc and Lotra? Uh, I recognize him from somewhere. Also, Mon Mothma's cousin seemed uh, to be an interesting twist. Yes, Mon Mothma's cu cousin. Uh, that was an interesting twist that involves that cousin. Uh, but was, okay, so his name's Olaf, I think. Olaf. Yeah, I think that's his name. Uh, was he an orc in Lord of the Rings? You know what this comes to mind is the orc. Is it in Two Towers? I think, I think it's in Two Towers. Uh, the orc that is on the wag that uh, Aragorn is, like, connected to. And he's, like, stuck on and he goes off the cliff. And then Aragorn and the wag go off the cliff. And then there's an orc, like, ha, 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 like, like choking and, like, dying, like, on the ground. And he's, like, got Aragorn's necklace. He kind of... Looks like that orc, or reminds me of that orc. So, what? Well, yeah, I feel like I feel like it could be that guy. Let me look into that after the show, or someone do it now. That would be interesting. <sighs> I'm so out of breath today. Out of breath today. Favorite Mon Mothma moment? Um, just um, honestly, the scenes of her in the in the when she gets in like her car thing in, in Andor, like her emotion in those moments are so good. That's great acting. I think she, yeah, really shows a lot of emotion in those moments. Uh, I loved your three best series. Uh, that's so different from anything anyone else does. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I um, yeah, I love doing them. I love doing them. I think, and like I said before, it's, you know, this series is just about to kind of highlight, um, you know, there's a lot to complain about the Star Wars franchise, but, you know, we're all here because we love it some way in some form. So I think it's a fun little thing just to remind us what we love about Star Wars, one of the best things of Star Wars that we really enjoy. Uh, so, I'm yeah, I'm super stoked that you enjoy it. That means a lot. I appreciate it so much. Uh, wish I could stay longer but have to be up for early for work. Want to, uh, want, wanted to buy? Stop, I wanted to stop by. Thank you. There you go. Uh, and show some support. Great stuff, Hannah. Keep it up. Would love to collab on a video sometime. Have a great one. Thank you so much, Fouch. Like, couch with an F. Facts. Uh, so so glad to have you here, man. I, I really appreciate your time. You had some great comments, great thoughts and conversations. So, so good to have you here. Uh, can't wait to catch you next week. So, yeah, this is a weekly show. So, we'll, we're back every Tuesday. So, hopefully see you next week. Have a good evening. Uh, and, yeah, damn me. Yeah, um, about that. It's a good time. Coleman Traber, that's his name. Shark Man. Coleman Traber. Uh, yes, everybody say thank you. To, thank you to Fouch. Great, great comment today. Thank you, Fouch. Coleman Traber is elite. I'm really, I'm really behind on the comments, man. I'm I'm catching up. I'm trying to catch up as fast as I can. Uh video about Plo Koon's Force Lightning. <laughs> you know what? I'm just I just want to do a one hour video essay on how freaking amazing Plo Koon is. How great that that guy is. He's a legend. Love Plo Koon. Uh, one of the reasons I love Plo Koon so much, if you can see back here, actually, this is my Star Wars set back here. Um, I don't want to get it down because it's very precariously sit, sat there. Uh, this is my Plo Koon Jedi Starfighter Lego set. I got it for my 11th birthday from my parents. It's the very first piece of Star Wars Lego I got 
don't know why they chose Plo Koon's Starfighter. Very niche thing to buy. But it's my first piece uh, of Lego and great design. Love it so much. Um, but yeah, that's like my favorite piece. My, my, one of my favorite pieces of Star Wars memorabilia or Star Wars, you know, stuff that I have. Uh, but yeah, I want to do a one hour Plo Koon video essay on how great he is. Legend. Uh, oh, it's not the same. Not right, it's Jed Brophy. Okay, well, let's look up the act of Yulaf. Maybe he's in something that we know. Hmm, interesting. Uh, it shows uh, how great female characters can be naturally without being uh, forced. Asajj, Ahsoka, Leia, Padme, Mon Mothma, Sabine, Satine, uh, Mother Talzin, and others. Yeah, I, you know, there, there is actually some really fantastic um, female Star Wars characters. And I, I do like how, like, just that list alone, like, there's not really a lot of them that are the same. It's not like a stock standard thing. They're all their own characters, personalities, and influences, and they all do have different purposes. So, yeah, I agree. Actually, Star Wars is pretty good for female uh, representation of characters. It's good. It's good. Uh, oh, Tavo. Ne never did I ever think Ahsoka would go against Maul. Makes you think about everyone both sides having fought Maul, beat Qui-Gon, but lost to a young adult great fight uh yeah, yes but also she was trained by like the most powerful force one of the most powerful arguably the most powerful force user you know anakin was incredibly strong was incredibly talented and you know like we got in that uh like episode five of the tales of the jedi like he put her through grueling extracurricular full-on training he didn't just go yeah do your little jedi training like everyone else he he put her through the ringer with it so yes i can understand and i'm a big qui-gon fan i think he's awesome but also ahsoka is pretty good and it's the same thing of you know i think how she killed that inquisitor like seemingly quite easy in the final episode of tales it's like she, again she was trained for like six years under the greatest jedi like ever so yeah it's interesting but then you more was in his prime and for qui-gon that's true Ooh, I'm sort of breath. Uh, have you any kind of bump, man? I have had I've grown in over 700 subscribers. It's been insane. I just haven't know what to do with it. I just like someone said before, like, are you gonna do something for your 1,000? I was like, dude, I thought my 1,000 sub subscribers was gonna be like in two years' time. It's been insane. It's been so good. It's been so so good. Oh, really? On Denner Nerds today, was talking about how well you did. That's so nice. I does maybe maybe he go. Does he go live when I go live? I I didn't obviously I didn't catch. That. I was here. No, that's so nice. That is oh that is surreal, man. That's surreal. But thank you for letting me know. Amazing. What's your favorite piece of Star Wars music? Personally, for me, it's either Leia's theme or Across the Stars. John Williams always did got me tearing up every time I listen. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it would be Leia's theme or a circus theme every time. I just like. And just break down, you know. Great themes, great writing. Oh, the clone, the clone theme actually is actually pretty. That's pretty top notch. That's pretty top tier. Plocoon deserved a better fate. I agree with that, Dave. I'd agree with that. How is this? I can't tell if the artwork's moving at all. I feel like it is. Uh, I love uh, I, I love Plocoon. He treated the clones like real ones. Yeah, I totally agree. I think he was a super nice, super nice Jedi. I think he was a good guy. Good guy. <laughs> Randall. Randall Perkin. What, that, that sounds like a, you have a Star Wars name, my friend. That is definitely a Star Wars name. Randall Perkins? You are definitely part of the Rebellion. Uh, Dave Shakti uh, deserved better too. Yeah, I agree. Shakti deserved better. It, well, I mean... Did she deserve better? She had like five different deaths in canon. So don't, when, when, when did she actually die, man? Yeah, there you go. Tommy, yeah. It's like, she, she, she just keeps dying. Keeps dying. Plo Koon's uh, species seems up uh, oh, OP. I'm rewatching the Clone Wars animation and was to shock to see him casually fighting the droids in the space, in a space suit. Yeah, I, I think that's his like breathing apparatus that he has on his face. He, he, I think actually, does he say that? I think he says it in there. Episode, he's like, I can withstand it for a little, little longer than you can, or something. <coughs> <coughs> now that's an idea. Tells the Jedi season two. 
Gotta have that plain kunak. Keith. Keith, I haven't seen you coming here before. Hey, man. How are you doing? Glad to have you here today. What did Lockie say? What did Lockie say something? Oh, you did say something before. That's right. That's right. You are the goat. No, you are the goat. I'll argue about this. You are the goat. No, no. Hannah. All the females I, list, I listed were better than uh, Reva, who was crammed into our face in the Obi-Wan show, and that was without Dave and George lecturing us about if we don't like a, you're an IST. Um, yeah, okay. So, okay. Reva or Reva, I still to this day do not know how to pronounce her name correctly. Uh, I think it's – I think it's Reva. I don't think it's Reva. I think Reva's the wrong one. I think that's the one I used to say. I think it is Reva, right? Reva. Um I think I – it's rough. I think her character was good. I don't think it was good in the Obi-Wan show. I feel like it's just – we were all so into what Obi-Wan was up to and his journey and, like, his, like, development and arc and what he's going through. I think it was a poor decision to put Reva in this – or Reva in this show because I feel like she just got over overshadowed. I think if she was, like, a character in, the, like, the Clone Wars, even, like, Rebels, I think she would have been really interesting and really loved – um, but yeah, I, I do agree. I think she just didn't fit in the Obi-Wan show for me. Um, but I, I, it's not, I'm not saying I don't like her character because I'm like, if she was somewhere else, I think she would, I would connect with her a lot more maybe, or not connect. I think she would just wouldn't, it just felt like every time we were with her, it was detracting from Obi-Wan. And that's the sad thing about, it. I think she is a very, very good character, but just in the wrong spot in the wrong show. Uh, I leave for like thirty minutes, and you've already finished it. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, I yeah. It it did take a while though. It did take a while. Uh, but yes, it's because it was a very. It is quite a quick thing because it's like pour and you tip it and then you kind of move it around. Uh, so it did take a bit. But uh, does it look good? Does it look like Camino? It doesn't really look like Camino. Kind of looks like Naboo more, if anything. One color. Uh, I always picked Kel, Keldor species in Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy 1. Anyone else play that? Uh, no, I don't play that. Anyone else play that here? I haven't played it. Prob probably other people that have played that, most likely. Props to you. I kept re refreshing your page and it grew drastically. Yeah, it's insane, man. It's been insane. Uh, Enter Lord Vader is a track people ignore too much. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Darth Revan in uh, Tales of the Sith. Yeah, I definitely think that's the next step for that show. Tales of the Sith would be a fantastic. Uh, and I think definitely before, like if we could get that before Acolyte would be super interesting or even after Acolyte, I guess. And like, you know, some ac some Acolyte characters are like in the show or something like that. That'd be cool. Uh, Sabine's music in an episode with the Darksaber is great. I need to rewatch those episodes. I feel like those, yeah, I remember those episodes being really great. I need to re-listen re to that, rewatch it. Uh, I have to get stuff done now. The stream was super fun. We'll definitely have to come back for next week's stream. Hope the rest of the stream goes well. Thank you so much for your amazing comments. Swish, swish blue tortoise. Why do you guys choose the most difficult to say? Hey, swish blue tortoise. Wow, so letters. One spot. Uh, great to have you. Thank you for your comments. Been a fantastic day. Uh, yeah, hope to see you next week. We'll uh, have lots more fun next week doing lots more random things. But uh, thank you for coming by. Have a good rest of the evening. Uh, honestly, top-notch impressions Lucasfilm should hire you. Thank you so much. Which one did I uh, What did I do before? What did I um, do before? The Bane one? Not the Bane one. How did I but thank you. Thank you, nevertheless. Uh, Shark T was supposed to be one of the most powerful Jedi and was on the council and survived Order 66 to gather and train Padawans. But the show's movies did not... Uh, uh, show's movies did her a disservice. I agree. That would be cool to... Imagine if, like, Shark T and Ahsoka, like, ended up teaming up, like, post-Order 66. That would have been a cool story. Uh, would love to see more of the more Luminara Unduli and Barris Offy relationship and how Barris makes the decision to fall to the dark. That could fit in Light of, uh, Light of the Jedi. That could fit in Tales of the Jedi. That would be an interesting story. I would also argue that we could see Barris Offy in Obi-Wan Season 2 or... Uh, Ahsoka. Oh, although I don't think I want to want to own Ahsoka. I feel like it would detract from Thrawn being the evil presence. 
I think so. I think so. But uh, yeah, that's interesting. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm not usually a fan of the dark characters, but I'm uh, so impressed with Denise Goes, Deidre Miro. Love her character. Actually, that's one thing we haven't talked about tonight. Bloody Yandor. That's coming out in like, geez, soon. Also, who's going to be in the, the theories um, watch party? I might pop in. I might I might say hi if you're if you're going to be over there. If you, if you see me over there in chat, uh, say hi uh, to uh, Hannah. It felt like uh, they gave us Obi Wan to shut us up and reintroduce Reva as an fu. He's a political agenda, and she survives two sabers to the gut. Makes Qui Gon seem like a wuss. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's a take. That's a take. I appreciate that. That's a take. That's and you know some element of that is right, but uh, yeah, that's totally fair. I can see how you can, um, yeah, definitely can see how that's a. Hmm. I can see how you absorbed that in that way. I I, I agree with that. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I am a pretty small channel. I'm pretty just been doing this. Uh, I haven't. I, I, literally yesterday, I had 200 subscribers. And I only have about 500 watch hours, and you need a lot more than that to uh, get um, to get monetized. So definitely uh, was nowhere near that. Um, so definitely almost got the 1,000 subscribers, which has just been insane, freaky. Uh, but yeah, hopefully working there. But th thank you for asking, though. Thank you for inquiring. It's really, really yeah, appreciate that. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that's chilling in the basement. Answer that as well. How many do you need? Yeah, 1K. I need 1K subscribers. So if I'm not there yet, I actually can't see my subscriber count. If I'm not there, uh, refresh, share it around, and uh, let's see. Actually, I am going to check it now. Where are we at? 938. We're at 938. So give it a share around. Give the channel a share. Give the uh, video a share. Give it a like. It does well for the algorithm. If you do enjoy the show, then we can get there. Uh, again, I Revan could be in Tales of the Sith and Tales of the Jedi lol. That's a good point. That's a good point. Uh, any character is better than Finn's girlfriend, Rose? I could argue that. I could argue that. I don't know who is, but I could argue that. <laughs> Greetings from North Queensland. Oh, man. That's a niche place. North Queensland. Phenomenal. Where are you up there? I Cairns? Are you, where, yeah, where are you near? Love that. Tam not Tamworth. Toowoomba, perhaps. Uh, but great to have you here. Bronze Live. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, your work has a great sheen on it. I'm sure it will display really well. Yeah, I think it. it this I bought the one that comes. Oh, it says matte. Actually, it says it, it should dry matte, but it does have like a nice shine to it, doesn't it? But again, let me know if if I made these, if I made these proper and professionally and put the money into it, would you buy Star Wars planet paintings that I make? Uh, let me know in the chat. And yeah, I, it's definitely been something I've been thinking of. Um, and now with this influx of people, I feel like I could market it. So let me know if you would buy one of these. And I'm so grateful to have randomly come across you on Theory's channel. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much, Elijah. I really appreciate that. Oh, also back at you, my friend. Hope you're having a good day, evening. Uh, Katina, I'm going to be honest. Uh, Groove speaks to Lord Sidious. I feel like I feel like that's a separate conversation. I feel like someone's having a separate conversation there. But hey, Seville. Have a great night, Hannah. It's awesome to see your channel growing, and I'll be happy to see you on Nerd Theory again. I'm out. Thank you, Game of Vault. Great conversations tonight. Thank you so much for being here. It's been a good good time wow there's so many th th there's so many um chats i'm so still behind uh did you watch uh star wars resistance for and a show you know what i only finished that show watched and finished that show this year like two months ago i watched it binged it great show don't know why they finished it i feel like we need to really flesh out things around the resistance and the new republic and that kind of part of star wars i think that's going to add a lot of kind of context and let me just help the, the stories in the sequel trilogy along a little bit. But, yeah, I, I really enjoyed that show. Really, really enjoyed it. I want Barriss in Ahsoka, but I, I think I'm in the minority, but I really liked her character and think she could have a good redemption arc. I Yeah, I think so. I would say the opposite. I would say the opposite in the sense that I feel like she's one of the characters that just, like, just goes downhill. I feel like she doesn't ever get redeemed. She's just, like, downhill. <sighs> well, this is – oh, Skull, wow. It's vicious, man. But I agree with you. I agree with you. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, 4,000 watch hours. Uh, that's a lot of watch hours, but um, we'll get there. We'll get there. There you go. 
Uh, Hannah, one more nerd theory and you'll blow up. Man, I feel like I've already blown up. Like I said, I feel like I was going to get to, like, I was, I was going crazy when I had, when I hit like a hundred subscribers and 200 subscribers. That was only like last week I hit over 200 in the stream. I was like, oh, thank you so much guys. Like, this is insane. And I was like mind blown with 200. So I, I can't even process the number that's on the screen now. It's, it's insane. It's insane. Uh, so much content has so little. Water. Yeah, it's yeah, it's wild. Let's get it up there. Let's uh, so keep sharing around. If you enjoy my stuff, share it around, comment, like it, uh, engage with it. You know, I just do this again. I I, I reply to a lot of people's comments. Uh, I'm just doing this for the love of Star Wars. I love Star Wars. I want to do this all the time. Do these. I like making stuff and talking to you guys. So yeah, it's all for the love of Star Wars. Uh, I have to watch alone. My first watch. Yes, that's true. Uh, join tomorrow's stream and you'll reach that 1K. I think so. I think so. Uh, have you made a Mustafa painting? No, this is my first uh, planet painting. This was the first go at it, but I think I should do more. Should I? Let me know in the chat. Should I do more of these paintings? I think Mustafa would be a really cool one to do with like the black and the reds, a bit of the yellow. Uh, I also think Naboo would be good. Kind of Naboo would kind of be like this one, but with green as well. I don't know how I would do Coruscant, but I'll figure out that out. What other ones could be cool? Hoth. I could do Hoth pretty well, I think. I think that would work well. Uh, what is everyone's Star Wars crush? Mine might be Hera. I like her character. Yeah, Hera. Star Wars crush. I think Mon Mothma is kind of becoming my Star Wars crush, to be honest. <laughs> Mon Mothma. Um... Actually, I, that's, I, I'm happy with that answer. I'm on with my, uh, good question, Dave. I love that one. Love that one. Uh, well, I'm not a sequel fan. I think that seeing the rise of the First Order in shows like Mando could be really be interesting. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, like, think about it. Think about it. And I'm not trying to convince everyone, anyone to like the sequel trilogy, but it's like a lot of people didn't like the, I mean, different generation, but a lot of people didn't like the prequel prequels when they came out. But then we got kind of Clone Wars and people became really deep Clone Wars fans and then kind of, it all interconnected to the prequels. And now the prequels are like revered by us, like, you know, real big prequelers and prequel fans. Um, so I, I definitely think the sequel trilogy kind of needs that treatment in the sense that I think we just need more content around it and build what the New Republic was. Like, like you know, a big thing for me in Force Awakens is like we see Hos the Hosnian Prime system blow up. No one had a single clue what on earth Hosnian Prime was then. I was like, Hos do we know? Do we know Hosnian Prime? Do we know what that was? It's like, imagine if we all knew those planets and we got to, we got shows on like the Hosnian Prime system. We all knew it. And it's the same thing of like when we like kind of if you think it's Clone Wars season seven, and we you know we got to know Ahsoka for like six, five seasons of Clone Wars, and then season seven Clone Wars being in line with Revenge of the Sith. And then we noticed that, like, you know, Ahsoka's story is so intertwined with what's happening in the movie, and it's like, oh, this super interconnected thing. I think the sequel trilogy, the sequel trilogy, kind of needs that to just give it. I don't think it'll change people's minds on the movies. Like, people have their opinions of the movies, but I think it will just. There's good stories in there. I think there's really good, a lot of potential for some good stories in there. Uh, you know, all the New Republic stuff, First Order stuff. So yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, it's a good point. I like that. I was posting your channel name every couple of minutes. I know. Sin City Smith, you, uh, Smith, Sith, uh, you were a legend last night. You were doing the, <laughs> the best job of helping me out. I really appreciate it. I uh, love it so much. Champ Z, whoa, you blew up deservedly. So keep up the good content and all the best. Thank you so much, man. I, again, I was mind blowing at 200 subs, so I can't even process the number on the screen right now. It's, it's phenomenal. Uh, really, really appreciate it. Qui-Gon was an effing savage to find the council all the time. Gives me chills. Yeah, he's a legend. He's a legend. Uh, croissant would be lots of silver and gold and bronze. Yeah, I think I would do like a black base and then maybe like try and kind of, you know, you know, I, this fork method I'm about, you know, kind of do um, kind of like almost like lines and dots everywhere. Because, you know, if you think of Coruscant, you can kind of see the circles of the different areas and cities and things like that so yeah it'd be interesting let's give it a refresh what are we at 937 night i was at 938 just then now i'm down to 930 just so unsubscribe how interesting oh man i'm so i'm so back i'm so behind in the comments let's jump let's jump in here let's jump in here 
Uh, I fell in love with Carrie Fisher at age seven. I love her. She's wonderful. She's wonderful. This is a jump. That's a jump. Out of a prison of the world. I don't think there is such a thing. <laughs> That's a jump, though. Uh, you should check out the Race Hides community. She has a choice of three games she wants to stream. Thank you, Dave. Dave, you again, you are so supportive, Dave. So appreciate it. Uh, Sevilla, I keep seeing Sevilla your comments. I can't can't catch you every time you've said something. Uh, we'll start to wrap up in the next 10 or so minutes here, everyone. So uh, just so you know, just keep it in mind. I need to run for president. You must take down Sleepy Joe. I'm not going to get into politics, not my country, but uh, again, that's a big jump. <laughs> uh, you were the only one in the stream. You were so relaxed, like, okay, it's guess my show. Let's do this. That was really amazing. I did crap myself a lot and log out. Yeah, I, you know what? I, I felt bad for plugging my channel as well. I didn't want to kind of be that asshole. It's like, well, it's my time. Yeah. I didn't really want to be an asshole, but I was like, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. But uh, I, I tried to keep it about the show. Try not to make it about me. Just, you know, read those comments, try to keep the conversation going. But it was kind of it was kind of crazy, man. It was kind of really, really crazy. Uh, Mark K. Sakov for me in terms of Star Wars Christ. Yeah, actually, yeah, I agree with that one. She's pretty cool. She's pretty cool. She's pretty badass. I like her a lot. Uh, if you do Tatooine, are you going to use sand? Now, that's an idea. So, Villa, that is genius. I could do, do the painting and then on top put sand on it. It would, like, stick to the glue. This is almost starting to dry. It's still got that glossy sheen to it. Uh, but I like that idea, Sevilla. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Thank you, Tavo. Is it Tavo? As an Australian, I think I would say Tavo, uh, but maybe it's Tavo. I don't know. Uh, I think the difference is that the sequels have more core problems, like Palpatine just having thousands of Death Star, uh, Death Star destroyers. I think people will soften will soften on them, but not as much as the prequels. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I think there, there's just some plot holes of the sequel trilogy that I just think uh, at this point by story nature can't be fixed. But there's elements, like, honestly, there's elements of the sequel trilogy I thought was really cool. I think I think Rey's actually an interesting character. I think she just needs to be fleshed out. Same thing with Finn. Um, I think we could get uh, a show. I mean, we get it in a lot of books, but I, th I th feel like we get some more stories on, like, the kind of the Han and Leia and Ben kind of dynamic before he goes off with Luke. I think that would be, um, I think that would be cool. It would be cool. Uh, glue and sand. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. That's the way to go, hey? <laughs> but hey, uh, what, what does he say? What's the quote? Hey, I can't even, how, how did I forget this quote? It scores and it gets everywhere. What does he say? It, I don't like sand. <laughs> it's coarse and it gets everywhere. I don't like it. Whatever he says. I've, how do I forget that line? <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, Jedi Finn could be a uh, show could be cool. I think. Yeah, I think. I think so. I think, you know, a lot of potential with that character. Ray likes Ray makes sense, and Finn got screwed over. Yeah, actually, a lot of new people come to the channel and think I'm called the Ray side, as in like Ray, Ray from the sequel trilogy. And I'm like, no, no, that's it's just my name. I haven't done it for Ray. But I do like Ray, but it's my name. Uh, yeah, yeah, you would love to see more Kylo and Ben content. Yeah, like maybe, like, I think a lot of people have a lot of questions on that whole thing that he turned and, like, you, you know, Luke, like, want to kill him, he's turned to the dark. Like, I think we need to see that kind of um, story and a big thing of how Kylo or Ben met Snoke. I think that's got a cool story in it. I think that would be cool. Uh, you pr I pronounced it right? I pronounced it right now. Look. Uh, I loved Ray's character after The Force Awakens, but the following movies destroyed that. Um, yeah, she, she, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that's fair. I appreciate your opinion on that. That's fair. Yeah, that was, yeah, it was, a, I'm not good with my, <laughs> thanks. Wow, wow, really, <laughs> really, really, <laughs> tell me what you really think. <laughs> it was like a Southern Anakin. That's, uh, that's definitely not in my impression list. <laughs> <laughs> so Hannah speaking American is it pretty good I feel like it was good American but probably not good Anakin uh, I, I tell you what <laughs> I love it I love it I've got a jar of dirt <laughs> Wait, wrong word. jar of dirt wow took a second uh, Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> wow 
Uh, Kyla was the best part of the sequels. Yeah. Also, Commander Apo, man. Great to have you here. You always comment on great stuff on my videos. Appreciate you being here for the live show. Uh, yeah, I, th I think he was a really interesting character. I think he's, his backstory would be really interesting to see. I think that would be a really uh, great story there. Uh, I liked Ray till she used the Jedi mind trick out of nowhere. I was like, how would she even know that's a thing without seeing and hearing it? <sighs> yeah, I like. I can understand how a lot of people is like, why is she like immediately OP'd? It's like, that's fair. But also, I kind of really like that scene. I think the acting of that scene was pretty good. Like, there wasn't much said, but you can see the, and even the sound production on that moment of like, you can feel, you can like feel the force happening in that moment. So I can, I understand that other people are like, oh, why is she like immediately OP? But also, kind of cool scene, kind of enjoy it. Can you do an Australian Jenga fit? Uh, well, see, okay, the thing with Americans, I find, I don't know if you're American, but a thing with Americans, you all get Australian and New Zealander accents like confused. You think we sound the same, which we sound so different. So Jenga Fett, uh, Tim Morrison, greatest guy in the world. Tim, love Tim Morrison. Uh, he's he's from New Zealand. He's got a very thick New Zealand accent. I I could not do his accent. I don't think. Um, but uh, I'm just a. Why am I forgetting every Star Wars quote ever? I'm just a. What is he saying? Just a man trying to make his way around the galaxy. Make 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 his way in the galaxy. Just a man trying to make his way in the galaxy. I I don't know. I I couldn't. Or do you mean like really Aussie? Is that what you mean? Just a man to make his way in the galaxy. That's, I don't know, I don't know if that's what you meant or needed. Uh, I've always been of the opinion that Luke uh, falling out of faith wasn't the problem. The problem was all the explanation given was five seconds of flashback where he did some unluke like things. Yeah, for sure. I think a show on that whole process and experience, a lot of people would probably connect with that or un not connect, but understand it more. Uh, that's the most tragic thing about the sequel. So much potential for a good story and great characters, but the execution didn't allow for that. I agree. I think there's just so many good things in the sequels. It just wasn't executed properly. Agree. Uh, Hannah's Australian accent really needs work. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> uh, no, we're not the same country. We're not the same country. I hope you're being sarcastic. I hope you're being sarcastic. Simple man. What I yeah, what did I say before? I definitely wasn't that. I'm just a simple man trying to work his way around the galaxy, through the galaxy. Uh what talking about that video of Tamora looking like he's working on the lines on a beach. Yeah, that was a funny video. If you didn't uh check it out on my Twitter, I retweeted this video of Tem practicing lines. He's like shirtless, he's in board shorts, he's like holding some like palm cards, like reading, like talking to himself. You can't tell he's practicing lines. Such a good video, so funny. Uh, even though the sequels are my least favorite, uh, that's comparing them to to the other two. Uh, I personally really like the Stormtroop designs, for example. Resurgent class Star Destroyer looks awesome, etc. Yeah, again, like so many good elements. I, I do like that idea of the, yeah, the revamped Stormtrooper look was was cool, man. It was cool. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, are people from New Zealand what Aussies called Kiwis? Yeah, those are Kiwis over there. Kiwis. I feel, I and I know you're from Mexico, Sevilla, but I feel, I don't know, I feel odd trying to do a Mexican accent. I don't know. If you gave me a line, perhaps, I don't know. Uh, Tim Morrison is the GOAT. Uh, he is the GOAT. Yeah, absolutely. He's the GOAT. He should be the president of the world. There you go. There's the candidate. Uh, I was absent that day in school. Yeah, so it's new, two different things. New Zealand is like off our coast. Um, if I swam for like, five day no probably longer than that if i was in a boat and traveled for like maybe two days i could get to new zealand if i just like went to the beach right now um yeah uh, like everything she does i'm sure she could do it extremely well thank you that's super supportive uh otter the wise hello to their chat first stream in the box how's it going Hannah? it is going well we've had a great show we've we've done some painting i still have paint everywhere i got it like Really everywhere. Somehow I got it on the doors when I went to the wash my hands. It's got it everywhere. But it's been a good show. We've had some good discussions. Talk about everything Star Wars today. It's been very quite a variety of conversation topics. Uh, getting to know everyone, but it's a good time. Very very good time. Uh, Tales of the Jedi uh, really gave me back my full love of Star Wars. Animated Star Wars is always amazing. Yeah, it's just. I you know what? I actually didn't expect it 
it's not that I didn't expect it to be good. I just, it was kind of like, I forgot about it for a while. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's a thing. It's like common. It's like a show that's going to come. Oh, it's animated. That's cool. I love Clone Wars. I'll probably love this. But it was just so good. It was so, so good. I loved it so much. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah, that was a good show. Better on the rewatch even. Uh, thank you. First time, first time doing a, like, I've, I've done this pour kind of painting technique before, but I, I haven't tried to do like a planet specific thing. Uh, so thank you so much. Appreciate it so much. Uh, yeah. And Dooku, th the Dooku arc was next level. I think it showed so much of his, like for me personally, Dooku before Tales of the Jedi is, he was quite dry. And I think that's okay. I think, you know, in the prequels, he, was, he wasn't he was too prevalent in the prequels. Like, he was he was there. Like, you know, he was around. You know, we get the cool fight scene. But he wasn't super, like, involved and deep of a character. Uh, but it was really interesting to see him told in this way that we start to really understand his reasoning for his turn. And we start to understand why he turned and, and his thinking. And you really kind of, you, you can't disagree with him in some of the points when he's, talking about the corruption of the Jedi and he's and he's having those thoughts and you kind of see him thinking and reflecting upon that and and he's not about that corruption and he's he's about the equality um of of peoples and he he doesn't like injustices you can like really empathize with that the issue with that is you know obviously he goes too far and he goes to Palpatine and that's where he falls but um it it is a really interesting arc that he went on went on and i i think he it added so much to the character that we see in the prequel movies so yeah i'm super happy with how that story turned out it was really really good really appreciate it uh dave said uh he had a story for ahsoka and luke band but it was when you find a place to tell it i think it would be a perfect for tales season two yeah actually that's a good idea there's a story there's a story thank you mark enjoy work thank you for coming by uh, Star Wars music never misses. I, I agree. I agree, Rick. Totally. Uh, I'd like to see more Clone Wars art style after the Clone Wars. Yeah, I think, I think like, a, you know what I would love to see? I would love to see, like, I keep mentioning this, like, kind of New Republic show. I would love a New Republic show that's in Clone Wars animation style. I think that would work pretty well. I, I definitely think it would work very, very well. Uh, Dooku was just some traitor, but we learned of how he changed and lost his faith. Qui-Gon's death was uh, the last straw. Yeah, I think that's for me. Like, I'm not saying he was like a bad character. I'm saying like he was just like this evil guy. He was just like the evil old grumpy guy in the prequels. And you're like, oh, like you can't, you, of course you want Anakin to kill him and beat him and all that kind of stuff. But it's like in this show, yeah, you totally feel for him and feel for where he's coming from. It's insane. It's insane. We'll start to wrap up super soon here on the show. It's been an incredible two hours. <sighs> talked out. I'm talked out. Uh, before we start to go through the final comments, a uh, couple of things to note, of course, down here. Uh, follow me on Instagram, at the race side on Instagram and Twitter uh, for more Styles content over there. And use hashtag choose the race side on Twitter if you want to tweet me something, do a photo of something you make maybe you paint something or you make blue milk or you make blue noodles noodles so you can tweet me that at choose the race i make sure you're doing that uh and also i am a co-host of a star wars podcast the star wars underworld it's all about the breaking news uh and also breakdowns currently we're going through breaking down and or that goes live uh every thursday 6 p.m 6 30 p.m pacific uh 9 30 p.m eastern uh, so over there at the SW on social media or the Star Wars Underworld on YouTube. Uh, got some, Yeah, great show over there. Me and three other guys, uh, guys, Chris, Ben and Dom, great friends of mine. We break down and or to the minute detail uh, over there. So if you if you like two and a half hour deep dives into Star Wars episodes and Star Wars news, that's, that's the show for you. So check it out, the Star Wars Underworld um, over there as well. Obviously, sub dude. Well, hello there. Good day there. Uh, you're new to the channel today. Yeah, freshy. Thank you so much for coming by. Appreciate it. Uh, David absolutely dominates animation. Give me more. Yeah, I'd be down for more. Jeff. Oh, Jeff, you legend. Howdy, howdy. Just tuned in. Nice painting. Almost forgot. It was Star Wars night. Elec it's election night in the US. Yes, I, a lot of people is like, oh, you know, it's coming here. It's been election night. Yeah, I, so I bet it's been a lot's happening over there. Uh, hope everyone 
voted exercise you right. It's uh yeah, hope you had a good day, Jeff. Thank you for stopping by. This is my Camino. It's a bit it's a bit too marbly for Camino, but it was a first go, so I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty happy with it. Uh really, really uh yeah, good time. But good to have you here, man. Good to good to hear from you. I forget about visions all the time. Absolutely lovely live stream. Love talking with you, Hannah. I'll definitely be back next week. Uh, I'm so glad I could pop in for a little bit. I'm going to come by so much more. Thank you so much, man. You, again, you guys are way too kind. It's all for the love of Star Wars. Uh, so hope you enjoyed watching some Star Wars stuff today, watching some Star Wars uh, craft making stuff. And, uh, yeah, we'll make some more stuff next week. It's going to be really, really good. Another excellent show. Must Hannah, thank you. Great dialogue, everyone. Uh, Antoine, hey, been sub for the Star Wars series since 2016. See so you on his stream last night. Really enjoyed your take and personality. Glad to be a new subscriber. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that. It's in, it's insane. It's insane. It's been crazy. Election night, possible fate. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, Sam, I mostly lurk, but I love the vibes of your stream. Thanks, man. You know what? That's okay. If you just want to lurk and just watch what's happening, that's why we have stuff going on as well. I mean, I know a lot of the stream is just kind of sitting here, but that's why at some point in the stream we're doing something for you to uh, – for you to um, watch along, get entertained, a little bit of entertainment for your, for your Tuesday night. Uh, glad, to be, glad to be here. I love it. Love it. Uh, we will start to wrap up here. Definitely tune in for future streams. So, uh, yeah, what were the announcements of today? Start, Rayside Gaming is coming to the channel. Date and time, TBD. Make sure you hit the community tab on my uh, channel. I do have a poll up at the moment about what games I should be streaming. Uh, but head on over there um, to let me know what I should be streaming first. I think Jedi Fallen Order is coming in first at the moment, but you could change that. You could change that. Um, when's the next stream? It's this time every week. So every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Pacific, uh, that's 10 p.m. Eastern time, and try and calculate that for when that is in your time zone as well. But it's every Tuesday, every single Tuesday night I'm, uh, I'm here. Have I, have I missed one? I don't think I've missed one yet. I think it's, it's, it's been every week. Uh, and then you can also catch the Best of Star Wars series that comes out every Saturday and every Monday. I think that's when it comes. Yeah, every Saturday and Monday? No, I feel like Friday and Monday. My bad. Friday and Monday. Uh, Best of Star Wars. That's, that's my ranking videos that comes out every time as well. I'll work on it. I'll work on it for you. Sin City Sith. How about some Fives content? That's true. That's true. Uh, is it the Star Wars Underworld Network? Yeah, the Star Wars Underworld Network. That's actually, is that, is that the YouTube? Actually, I, I feel like I maybe, did I, I, it's tagged in the description below. It there, if you want to go find the Star Wars Underworld, it's down in the, uh, down below. Is it there? Yes, it's there. Star Wars Underworld. Yeah, there's the channel linked below if you want to check that out. All right. Well, I'm going to head off now. Thank you so much for everyone tuning in, chatting Star Wars. It's been a great day. Uh, leave a like uh, on a stream. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate that. If you can, I'll try and catch the next stream. It's at 9 p.m. for me, chilling in the cheese state. Cheese? What's the cheese state? What is that? Where's that? I want to know where that is. <laughs> Whenever it says lurk, the first thing that comes to mind is, <laughs> to my head is a cat. That's really funny. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It's been a great time. Uh, keep being kind. Uh, if, you, if you like the content on the channel, make sure you like, uh, share it. If you want to Show your friends some cool Star Wars content. Uh, and I shall uh, see you in the next stream. Uh, but as always, make sure you always choose the race side. What are you all still doing here? What are you all still doing here? There's still 50 of you here. What are you doing? Go, to, go, go. I said bye. Civilian knew what was up, though. You knew what was up, man. <laughs> Wait for it. What are you all doing here? What do you think? You think I'm still here? Dave, Dave knew what was going on. What? How, why am I still here? Why are you still here? What? I said bye. 
I said the credits. The banner came up. The the end card came up. It's over. The show's over. Why are you still here? Oh, you legends. You legends. It's been a pleasure, my friends. I'll see you next week. Let's banter on Twitter. Leave comments on the videos and I'll uh, I pretty much answer pre every comment that comes up. So I'll, s I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Have a good day. Oh, enjoy Andor, by the way. That's like coming out in like a couple of hours. Enjoy that. <laughs> we'll talk about it next week. <laughs> Have a good one.